Hello everyone and welcome back to Dicebreaker where we are getting an exclusive early access look at the new 10th edition of Warhammer 40k. I am joined by Maddie, who Hello. is going to be fighting me on yeah. this giant battle map full of horrible terrain. Uh, but most importantly, right in between us, uh, we have a not only uh, a playtester for the game, not only a pro-ranked player, oh my God. but also just a lovely all-round mm -hmm. guy. Stephen Box, would you like to introduce yourself to the people at home? Yeah, um, I think that last one's a lie, but I'll take <laughs> the others. We'll see over yeah. the course of the next few hours. Um, now, I want a nice clean game, okay? Mm. I want a we'll nice see. clean game yeah. from you we'll two, see. okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold it back, hold it back. Um, no, we specialise in teaching people how to play Warhammer. Um, it's our real mission just to get people playing the game. We absolutely love it here at Vanguard Tactics, so if we can help you love it and you are at home, then We've done a good job. Yeah, fantastic. So like if you are brand new to Warhammer 40k, you've literally never touched it and you're looking to start with the 10th edition, this will also be for you. If you are, you know, a veteran, you've played all the way up to 9th and you just want to see what the new rule changes are, this will also be for you. But the main thing is we're going to be teaching you how to play as we go. So it's going to be a playthrough, it's going to be like a, a traditional battle report, but we're going to be explaining everything as we go so that you can learn as we play. Yeah. Uh, it is the armies straight out of the box. So as we flip this over, I didn't know there was stuff in it. Uh, but we're going to have some Tyranids versus some Space Marines. I am a huge Tyranids fan, as anyone who has uh, watch this channel a little bit and see me paint stuff will know. Uh, we are going to be introducing our armies in a little bit, but that is incredibly exciting. Um, we have a 1v1 setup, so it is going to be myself versus Manny with our adjudicator in the middle to stop us from, you know, just swinging a few punches keep, over. Keep we'll see how it goes. We'll yeah. see. Keep it back. Keep, keep, it, back. keep, keep it back. Hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get kicked off, Stephen, do you want to explain what our objective is today? Yeah, so we're playing a slightly modified version. Mm -hmm. um, typically in the box, what you're going to get is a series of cards, and it's going to tell you like how you're going to set up your models. We call that the deployment zones, because mm -hmm. you can't just start you know, face to face. Yeah. There's got to be a bit of distance. So we're going to be using the hammer and anvil card. It just means, Maddie, you're going to be on mm -hmm. this side. Okay. And Wheels, you're on this side. Cool. With a nice That's big 24-inch cool. gap in between us. Sweet. In the middle, we've placed some objective markers. You get these. Ooh. In the box, okay, there's six in there, but we're only going to be using two today because we've kind of sized it down a little bit yeah. just to give you a bit of a, an idea of what everything's going to be doing. Um, we're then going to be playing a mission. So you draw these at random. So you could have drawn this at random, drawn this one at random, and in your turns, you're going to score five points for every one of these that you hold. Okay. okay. There's five turns in the game. Each one of these is worth five. So that's 10 Ooh. points a turn. So your total oh, wow. score could be 50, just from what we call the primary mission. I'm going for 50 points. <laughs> Good <Watch> luck. This. <laughs> <laughs> Some big chat over there. I know, it always is, it always is. <laughs> Not necessarily followed up by anything, but it's always big chat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying myself, I'm talking to high Try. Yeah. Good. That's the main thing. And then we're just going to use one secondary objective. Mm. Normally you'd pick these at random yeah. as the game goes on and you try and achieve these different things. But I thought that this would be cool because we're playing one called Assassination. Ooh. Thought it was very fitting. Mm. That's it. You've got two characters. Yeah. You've got two characters. Yeah. And Maddie, if you kill any of Wills' characters, you'll get five points per character you kill Ooh. and vice versa. Okay. Okay. Watch and out. then watch yourself. <laughs> you get ten points for having painted armies. So well done for both of you for bringing a painted Yay! army. Well Yay! done. Yes, we definitely brought our own. Is yes. This all on us. <laughs> well done, guys. They are fantastically <laughs> painted. Yes. Thank you, Stephen. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, a massive thank you to Stephen for hosting us. As you can see, we are not in the in the standard Dicebreaker Studio. We have come over to your home uh, over in Bath area, yeah. so we can uh, use the stuff that you've got available to us. You are set up for forty k. We're not necessarily very set up for no. miniatures games, as you've probably seen from Let's Plays that we've done in the past, but Stephen is fantastic. He does online tutorials, teaches you how to play 40K, how to play in a professional setting as well, because obviously you are going to all the, the pro tournaments. We've actually got a interview coming up with you on the yeah. channel at some point soon as well, where we kind of explore what it's like to be a professional miniatures game player and go to these tournaments and events and see what it's like like that. So more from Stephen, links in the description below, and we'll also have a little uh, read at the end for more stuff where you can find him. But Big fan of Stephen. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. No, it's a huge opportunity for me. So uh, let's do this. Yeah, so you know the mission going. now. You know you can score mm -hmm. up to 50 points on the primary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Another 10 on the secondary objective. Mm -hmm. So now we're up to Racing 60 points. Uh -huh. 
and then you get your 10 for painted. Cool. So you can score up to 70 points in this game, mm -hmm. all right? Well, I got 10 out of the 50 I said I was going to get. So <laughs> You're already on your way. You're good get to go. go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we should probably take a little look at the armies. Yes, that sounds great. Now, Will, you decided to take the nids. I did, yes. I, For anyone who is not aware, I have played Warhammer 40k on and off since I was about 16. And I've always loved Tyranids. I think Tyranids are cool as hell. So I was very excited that they are in the new edition as like one of the flagship armies. I can't believe I'm being made fun of already. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor, poor life choices. <laughs> yeah. So the Tyranids are essentially massive creatures slash bugs, aliens. Mm. And what they've come to do is basically terrorize this planet and kill all the humans and eat absolutely everything. Yeah. I want nice. to gobble up your genes. <sighs> yes. My genes. <laughs> but fortunately, Maddie, you've decided to take the Space Marines, the heroes I'm of the Imperium. I'm guys. <laughs> yeah, the heroes <laughs> of the Imperium. Spot on impression. <laughs> it's uncanny, isn't it? It really is. God, can, yeah. can I just, hold on, just keep that, keep that there. Yeah, wow, look, it's that is. the same. That is spot on. Yeah. I did dress up today. <laughs> I'm in here in the gym, ready. With your big guns. Yeah. So. Well, they're in like a big suit, so they could be like weedy little guys. Yeah, you never know. Suit. Like a Dalek or something. Yeah. Like they could yeah. be. They're definitely not, but they could no. be. I like it. Yeah. Um, so you are the defenders of humanity. Yeah. Okay, and you've dropped yeah. down onto this planet where the Tyranid invasion is swarming over, and uh, you need to destroy everything. Okay. That's fair. Would yeah. like you to not eat the entire planet. Yeah, I wouldn't really? recommend leaving a single one of us alive because we're uh, once there's one of us, there's a, there's a lot more coming, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. Bugs. Exterminatus is what we want here. Okay. All right, okay. So that's the game. That. So we've met the armies. Mm -hmm. You've met your players, the generals. So it's time to deploy our armies. Okay. Now this is really simple. Okay. You've got a series of what we call models and units. Mm -hmm. A model is a single individual miniature that will come on typically an oval base. That's what we call a model. And then we have a unit. Now a unit is typically comprised of loads of models of the same type and they've basically mm -hmm. formed a little gang. Okay, you need to keep nice. this gang <laughs> together um, and they'll move around the table together as what we call a unit. But some of the bigger things, like the bigger dreadnoughts, your screamer killer, although they are a model, they're a unit by themselves. Yeah. They don't need no friends, okay? No, they yeah, just, absolutely fine. Yeah. they are big enough, bad Sisters enough. Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> That's exactly it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate deploying our units mm -hmm. one by one. Okay. And you have to be behind the, no, have you picked up the dice I put down? Did picked you, up dice. Did you pick up dice? The deployment line. We'll put it out, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> Fine. We've Fine. got dice down here uh, to signify your deployment zone. Okay. And you need to be 12 inches back from this objective line, okay? Okay. So you're going to put your army over here, and the invasion of the Nids is going to be over here. Excellent. Stay unit by there. unit. Okay, are we ready? You need to roll off to see who is going to deploy their Ooh. first unit. Sounds good. It's four oh, each. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You go again if you were to draw. What do we do? Okay. Oh. Damn, I love four. So, Will, you can decide which side of the table you want. Okay, I am going to pick this side. I'm going to stay with my, my home turf over here. Okay. Um, and you can either, if you're picking the side, then Maddie, you can drop mm -hmm. the first unit. Okay. Okay, okay. Do you have a slight advantage here? Yeah. Because you won the roll off that you can pick the side. Yes. And, uh, and it's also nice to, to place your units reactively as well, right? Mm. Because if I know that Maddie is shoving all of her forces on that side, it gives me a bit more information, yes. so maybe I don't want to be super spread out. That's exactly, true. yeah. So in the deployment step of this game, you can decide if you want to put some units in what we call deep strike. They're basically hovering around ships. Mm -hmm. So your Terminator unit can come down and deep strike anywhere on the table. Okay. Okay, now is the time to make these decisions. Mm. It's also the time you're going to decide which characters are going to join which units. Okay. All right, now we're slightly Love. limited because on your data sheet, which is basically all the rules yep. that your unit or model can do will tell you who they can join. Because we want to keep these characters safe, they can join units. So you've got a choice. Okay. You've got the Terminator unit. Only one character can lead it. Is it going to be your librarian who casts my magic powers? Or is it going to be Captain Vanguard, the Terminator captain? Is he going to lead the Terminators? You can decide right now who will lead the Terminators. The librarian magic man or Captain Vanguard? 
I feel like Librarian had some fun things going on, right? Mm, does. So I think I think Librarian yeah. has yeah. some fun little magic so, in there. He sounds a bit more squishy. Yeah, like, I feel like you know? maybe some backup. Not, not to like, help the enemy here or anything, but like maybe, maybe he nice. needs a little bit of backup. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying about Librarians? <laughs> nothing, mate. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> in the library, yeah, no talk. <laughs> okay, so the librarian is going to lead the Terminators. Yes. That means Captain Vanguard, is he going to start in deep strike or are you going to put him on the table? It's a 50 50. Do you want to phone a friend? <laughs> yeah, I don't Are you the friend? Answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Can ask the audience, you back home, where would you place? Guys, her? comment what I should have done. <laughs> in retrospect, like, what should have Manny done? Yeah. Is he starting in deep strike or I, on the table? I'm just start on the table. Okay, I like it. Come out. I'm just going to get out here and kill right. the gross bugs. So everything's starting on the table? Yes. Like it. Good decision. Okay. Okay. Great. Excellent. Fantastic. I did well. And Wills, what about you? Are you going to put any characters in units? Um, my characters are pretty enormous, apart from my, I'm just getting out here, my winged Tyranid Prime is kind of Ooh. my de facto leader, but he's also a little bit squishier, so I might pop him in a unit just to give him some backup. Well, that's unfortunate because you can't. Well, never mind then. Because unfortunately, in the box... Is this one of those trick questions? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> unfortunately, you can only place him in a unit of what we call... Warriors, Tyranid okay, Warriors. Got it. And we yeah. don't have any of those, so he is going to have to roll roll around by himself. But I think he'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. But you've got some sort of big brain bug. I've also got a lot of like hordes of squishy little bugs God, that I don't so care about. Many I can just sort of shove in you'll, front. You know, you'll be fine. Yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah, my big brain bug. He does actually come with two little friends, two little brain friends, so and he's going to be backed up by them. Nice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we can do some of there. So everything's starting on the table. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's head over to deployment. All right, let's do it. Your armies. We have. Now, there's a couple of things that you must know when you're deploying your units mm -hmm. is that when you've got six in a unit, so six models in a unit, they all have to be basically grouped together mm -hmm. and we call that unit coherency. Right. And unit coherency is two inches. So that means mm -hmm. if you're my friend in my unit, we need to be at least two inches between us. Okay. No more. We'll get, we'll get sad if we're too far apart. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's the actual law reason. We'll yeah. hang out with my besties. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Then if you've got larger than that, so basically seven or more, so you've got like, like a unit. Like for example. Yeah. You've got like a unit of 20. They need to be two inches with two other models. Okay. Ooh. So is this a, a 20 person unit rather than two tens? You can you can use them how you want. You okay. can do two tens or a twenty. It's up to you. Because right now they have to be two tens with because they are not coherent together. So you're playing two tens then. Yeah. So two, two tens. Two tens it is, I suppose. Eight. Two yeah. tens, but because they are over seven, then they still have to follow that same thing. Yes. And you just check, you know, are they within two inches? Yeah. The other cool thing is these unit of von Lyon, von Ryan's leapers. Mm -hmm. They've got a rule called infiltrate. Now there's lots of universal special rules in the game. Mm -hmm. You'll see them on your data cards as shown here. So as you can see, there's different universal special rules mm -hmm. and you've got one called Infiltrate, which means yes. you can set up on the battlefield basically really close to Maddie's army and you only have to be nine inches away from the <laughs> deployment line. Yeah, these are my Infiltrator stealth murder oh. people, so don't, don't worry about them, that. No, just don't worry about them. Okay. Just don't look at them. Well, yeah, they're fine. I'm looking at you through that little window and I'm not feeling great about it. <laughs> yeah, they will rip you apart limb from limb. That, uh, oh. that is propaganda, actually. That's anti-bug propaganda. Don't listen to Stephen. He's uh, a nice shiny nonsense. suit. How could you do that? Look at my lovely, nice, shiny chitin. <laughs> Dripping Shit. goo. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm. We're all friends here. I've <laughs> got so shared good. interests. I love that for you. We're big. We're covered in armor. <laughs> we, we, you know, there's so much we have in common. Why are we fighting? Because <laughs> so, I want to eat you. Game concluded then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically your lunch. Mm. And, oh. Uh, yeah. Or oh, it's a little bit like... Lunch is over here, but these yes. are like a big bunch of like dinner ladies I've that got are to get making your d'oeuvres. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly. I'm not even the main meal. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Now it's time Ooh. for the roll off. Okay. This roll off will determine which of you will be going first. Ooh. And if you win this roll off, you have to go first. There's no okay. choice in it. Okay. okay. Interesting. Okay. Are you ready, I'm ready for the big roll off? Wheels, you've rolled eight. It's a five. five. That's a great strong. Start. That's a great start. great start. Okay. So we're looking for a Vanguard Tactic Six. It's that's another two for me. It's a two. It's a, two. It's a bad start. Two. It's a bad two. start. Okay. Well, so... have fun. <laughs> <laughs> See you gonna... out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tyranids, mm. turn one. All right. Let's do this. So, it's time to move your models' wheels. Yes, it is. Now, you can choose to move any unit in any direction that you want to go. Mm -hmm. There are some rules around moving through terrain depending on how big or small you might be, um, and you'll see the keywords that will associate with that. For example, if you're an infantry model, which these little bugs are, they can move through the ruins, they can go through the walls, go through the doors, windows and stuff, whereas the bigger monsters, they don't have that infantry keyword, so therefore they've got to go round and through. Yeah. Okay? Now, to make a move, all you're going to do is look at the data sheet to see how far it moves. Okay, so for example, the Screamer Killer here. Screamer Killer has a movement speed of eight inches. Okay, so you Ooh. can move up to, but not exceeding eight inches. Yeah. All right, so you'll measure from the front of the base to the front of the base, and that is a, what we call a normal move. Now, the other type of move you can do is what we call an advanced move. So what that is, is kind of like a run or a sprint. Mm -hmm. You're gonna roll a D6, and you're gonna add that to your movement characteristic. So if that's something you wanna to do to get yourself on the objective marker, that could be a good choice. So my Screamer Killer only has one ranged weapon, because yep. I know from experience that if I, if I sprint, I can't shoot, right? So... Yes, unless you have an assault weapon. Which I don't think I do. Uh, oh, it is, my bad. Oh no. That is in fact an assault weapon. <laughs> Actually, I do remember, Tyranids are pretty good at assault weapons, oh. so we might as well. So run good, sir. All right, It will mean you see. can't charge, but you weren't going to be able to charge anyway. very far away at the moment, so that yeah. should be all good. So Come on then. Roll our extra movement, just two. Just a two. So we can move 10 inches. Move 10 inches, yeah. So it might shock you all to learn. I'm going to be moving right down the middle here. So that's just going to be right in a straight line. And it's going to end my movement. I'm trying not to knock anything over. Right about there. Close. Close indeed. He's sprinting in. Not for screaming fair. and killing. He's screaming? He is screaming. <laughs> now, one thing I did forget to mention, Ooh. we kind of skipped it. It's called the command phase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Happens before we start moving our models, but you both get a command point in the command phase. Good so to know. We've already done that. You've yeah. both got a command point each. One point. Yeah, these, these are not points that can help you score. What they can be do is they kind of spend them on resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, and as we go through the game, I'll tell you which resources you can use. You've got core stratagems, and then you've got army faction rules as well. Now, we're not going to use those today just to keep it a little bit simpler. Uh, we're just going to use the core ones from the, the book. Yeah. Okay. So that might be stuff like re-rolling a die, for example. So, for yeah. example, if you didn't roll the, like the look of that two, you could yeah. have spent that one command point for a command point re-roll, re-rolled it. I've rolled a four. Wow. You'd be able to move another two it. inches. That would have been better. It would have been better. Too late now. <laughs> too late now. Um, now, sometimes you have, you'll have some really cool command phase, so we'll kind of look at that when we get to yours. Nice. You've got a once per game command phase ability. We'll look at that later. Cool. But yeah, we've just got to continue moving all your models now. All right. Let's get them up the field. Let's do it. So, um, we're going to start with this unit over here with my big brain bug. Uh, we're going to get him in range because he does have a few range things that he can do, and they are quite fun. Um, move six. So let's see. Yeah, he's going to move six inches. Um, now, Stephen, I've got a unit here with multiple types of model in. Yeah. So is that going to limit the amount that they can move based on whoever's got the slowest movement? Uh, no, they should hopefully all have the same movement. But even if different models have a different movement value, providing they all end in coherency, it's fine. Okay. Cool. So if somebody's got a larger movement there at the back, they could move to the front. Providing the ending coherency, you're okay. Got it. And that unit coherency is that two inch thing we spoke about earlier. All okay. right, so my Neurotyran can move six. We've also got his little brain bugs that are gonna come with him. Uh, and then some Neurogants who, yes, have six inch move as well. So we're gonna move these guys up behind my Screamer Killer. Um, you can also make an advanced move for them as well. I could, but I do wanna shoot with them, I think. Well, I'm we can just check. check their range, yeah. So my Psychic Scream, Oof. Which ignores cover, has a range of 18 inches. So you're going to be out. So if I moved over here, 
my 18 inch range would be up to here, which is nowhere near. So I think you're right. I should do a little advance. Just get them up the board. Let's see. So another two. So we eight inches. And now again, I could spend a command point to re-roll that, but I'm not gonna. So we'll move eight inches. Nice. So they're just gonna move right up behind. Run. My scream a killer. Massive little bugs coming in. Right, we've now got our Termagons here. So and moving six, mate. Termagons have a six as well. So they're, again, their guns only have a range of 18. So they are assault. They are assault. So it doesn't actually matter. No. So they're going to sprint regardless. The horde is incoming. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a one. Don't yes! worry about it. Yes. It's fine. I'm not spending a command point on my weakest unit. I just so. think maybe you should spend a command point, you know? <laughs> that is good coaching. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely waste those resources now <laughs> on those really Minutia, weak yeah, units. Really, yeah. I just think it could make all the difference right now if we just well, spent that resource. Thank you so much for your feedback. I'll take it on board, Maddie. Um, <laughs> now, Do you feel like you're being listened to? <laughs> no, never. Never, Stephen. Never. Stephen, I've got some terrain here in the way. We've okay. got some little pipes. Is that going to affect my movement at all? It's not, no. You can run straight through that because you've got the infantry keyword. Perfect. Yeah. Those little freaks, they're going to clamber all over that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So we're going to move. It's only the bigger stuff that you really have to kind of move over. The little pipes and stuff, we're not going to worry about that, okay? And move those units up here. They're getting awfully close, am I? You gonna be able to handle I'm this? Not loving this. This is like a horde of just devouring bugs coming at you. Yeah, but I think we should remember who's who's looking directly at them. The no. ballista yes. dreadnought. Yes. God, whoever painted that is really talented. <laughs> I was just <laughs> thinking that. Yeah. I'm well. just gonna check their coherence, make sure they're all. That's fine. They're, they look good. Yeah, away. they look good. You've done a good job there, mate. I can then do another little sprint. With my other guns here. Who said you couldn't be taught anything? Now that's a 12 Whoa. inch movement Whoa. coming from these guys. So they're going to be sprinting up the board. Oh, suddenly feeling not so big good. Big six. Huge sprint. Yeah, I've never seen these Vanguard Tactics logos before. Um, I didn't really realize they were on the dice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see sixes. <laughs> yeah, well, good job I've charged all the dice up. Yeah, you need to have a chat with Liv. Now, can I give you a little bit of advice? Yeah. Could you get one model within three inches of this objective or not? Is that possible? I mean, I can get one about that far. Cool, I think yeah. you could have got one there, yeah? So With their move. Pop him there. Because that means oh. now you're within three inches of that objective, that's your objective. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This objective right here, Maddie, that's mine. Yeah. For now. So just, just back off, all right? For, for now, though, Maddie. Don't <laughs> worry, you're going to get your turn, okay? Yeah, you haven't, you haven't seen anything yet, Well, I haven't done anything. <laughs> So we've got two units left to move. We have my... Barb Gaunts. Barb Gaunts, who actually have a very long range gun, which is a not an assault gun. So I'm just gonna do a standard move of those. Okay. So they've got 24 inches of range with their bio cannons. <laughs> very fun. So they're just gonna move the standard six. Um, and I might as well move them into this cover here, I suppose. Yep, the only thing is, will you be able to see anything? Because we, in this game of Warhammer, we use what we call true line of sight. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to see the target you want to shoot. Okay. Because if you move them six, yes, you might be yeah, eligible. Not, not many windows in here, is there? No. So you might want to move them this way six inches. Yeah. And then at least if you're within 24 inches, you can shoot at the big dreadnought. Well, let's find out, Zoe. So if we move six inches over here. Yep. Then where does 24 get us? Because maybe you're just better off advancing. I mean, Still out. You know, yeah. Maybe one of them could it's shoot. probably not worth it. Let's just sprint, yeah. Let's just have a run, get into the ruin safe, and then you yeah. can come out later on, yeah? Great idea. Thank you. That's another six. Another big six. What you, is happening? My massive yeah. heavy weapons experts are running 12 inches. So I've got loads of range for movement, so I'm just going to slide them in. They're just going to go all You want to set them up for success next turn. I'd move them as far as they possibly can. Yeah, get them on the other side of that building if possible. Yeah. yeah screw it, why not? Create go that firing line. It. Yeah. Anything that comes out of this building, dead. You know? <laughs> don't worry, Maddie. Don't worry. Don't worry about okay. it. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's got nothing to do with you. Don't worry. Uh, and then last but not least, we've got my Psychophage, <laughs> uh, which does not have an assault weapon. 
No. And it's got a range of 12. It can move eight inches. Mm, it's not so big. we'll just check, just in case. Eight inches is not enough. It's not much, is it? That's so good. that to there. Yeah. Do you want to advance as well? 12 to there. That's going to be an advance. Eight inches is still a nice bit of movement. If I can whack a six on top of it, who well, knows? That's a four. That's not bad. I'll take another 12. These are some speedy Tyranids. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to whack them right on the side. Yeah, just place them over that thing to make it easier for yourself. Nice, yeah. There we go. All right. And that, I believe, is just going to leave my Tyranid Prime here. Yeah, he moves 12 inches base. He does move 12 inches base, oh. so I can move him right in the middle of my guys to give them synapse. I think that's a good move. Yeah, which we'll, we'll get to in a second. He has a... He does not even have a ranged weapon, so there's no point in not just sprinting, just to give us a little bit more movement. Yep. And he's going to get six as well. Big 18. What good is happening? Lord. 18 you, inches. Could you get him near that other objective marker oh, or no. not? I mean, I might as well just sprint right over there behind those boxes, I think. Yeah, get him in there. Because he's a combat character. He wants to be up close and personal. And he's got wings. So he can just fly fast. over, yeah. That means I've also got another person who's oh, on the objective. In objective range, which is great. Okay. All right. That is my movement phase complete. But is it? Oh. You know that really stealthy unit that's so camouflaged and stealthy? Oh my god, I even forgot about them myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, Come so the thing there. is, they're not far away from that objective right now. But also, there's a unit right in here that looks I, nice and squishy. I don't know what it does. About. It I does look nice and squishy. You could about. just hold on the objective, which sounds a bit boring to me. It does. It doesn't or, sound very tyrannic, does it? It doesn't, no. It doesn't sound very tyrannic. Or you could run eight inches, because yeah. that's your normal move. It is. And then you could make a charge. And we're going to get to charges in a second. And, it, you know, within the spirit of the game mm -hmm. and teaching it, I think we should show off how charges work. Exactly. Straight yeah. in the first turn, don't you? Exactly. That's so caring of you, Eels. <laughs> You're so thoughtful. So we'll just check their movement range. It's actually which 10. Is 10. 10. My I, I misspoke as a 10. It's not oh, a yeah, these guys are fast. Now, oh. if you want to make a charge, yep. you cannot advance. Cool. So you have to make that normal move. And you can go straight. You're an infantry model, so you can go yep. straight through this. And you can end here, mm -hmm. and then this unit of Stern Guard veterans are stood in this building. Right. We can charge them. Got it. Yeah, I wouldn't advise charging the Terminators because no, they, they do. No, they seem quite big and scary, so we're just going to charge. They didn't get that name Terminator for no reason. I feel like that's quite cowardly wheels. <laughs> Look, we're not playing uh, Space Hulk here, so I'm just going to stick away from those Terminators. So they're going to run right up here. Hmm. Nice big 10 inches of movement. Hmm. Huge fan of that. Yeah. And they camouflage, so they do it. Huge fan. You liking that? Yeah, I think that is now going to be a completed move phase. That's a completed move phase. Okay, so we're on to what we call the shooting phase. Mm. So we do command phase, movement phase, shooting phase. Excellent. There used to be a psychic phase, but in this no more. Mm -hmm. They're okay. just automatically inside your profile. Sometimes they'll affect you in the charge, combat, or shooting phase. Okay. okay. So in order to shoot a unit, first of all, you need to pick one of your units that is eligible to shoot. All right, let's see. So, so we know that quite a few of them aren't. Mm -hmm. um, the only ones that I think are close enough. What's the range on the Screamer Killer? Yeah, it's probably the Screamer Killer. So he's got an 18 inch range. I love the sound of that. With his Assault Bioplasmic Scream Ooh, Weapon. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds fun. Okay. Let's see if it does anything. So to, to be eligible to shoot, you need to have not advanced. Yeah. Unless you've got an Assault Weapon. Which he has. Which he has, because mm -hmm. it says in his data sheet. Mm -hmm. Or you're not in combat, yeah. which he's not. He yeah. doesn't have anyone within an inch of him, mm -hmm. which is what we call engagement range. And you need to be able to see the target and be in range. Yeah. So the only thing we can see is the Ballista Dreadnought. I mean, you say that. From so any you, point of your model. But I can actually see through this little window here. Yeah, what? A little unit. Oh, we shoot through the window. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I see how he's playing this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look, I'm gonna shoot through windows. I mean, look. <laughs> I'll get a shot for the people at home. <laughs> you, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. I don't like the guy, but he's got a point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can shoot, you. you can see. Okay. Are you within 18 inches? Just. Just about. Just about. Ooh. It's happening. So All right. Then, so how many shots? Shot. So Let's how many shots do you have? So we're gonna look at the weapon profile. Mm -hmm. um, so we have uh, D6 plus three attacks. 
So D6 attacks means, in your, see on your data sheet, it says the little A, how many attacks. Yeah. You've got D6. Mm -hmm. So you're going to roll this dice, and, and this is how many? three to the result. You've got it. Yes! <laughs> now I could spend a command point to re-roll that. You could. You're going to do it. What other useful things could I use that command point for if I didn't use it on this? Uh, Rerolling the charge from these guys. Yeah. Rerolling a save and throw. Um, you don't really have any grenades to throw. You don't really have tank shock. He's, he's gone for it. He's, he's, he's just gone for it. Yeah. Okay. Look, I could, I could roll a one again. You could. You never know what happened. You can't roll worse. A two. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So that's five attacks. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah. Five shots. Okay. Now, where it says ballistic skill mm -hmm. under BS, what does it say? Uh, well, this army is full of a lot of BS, but he has True. a ballistic skill of four plus. So therefore, okay. fours it, are a hit. In order to hit the stern guard veterans at the front, you need to roll a four or more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now these guys are behind cover. Is that going to affect the, the ballistic skill of the weapon? Nope. Okay. It may affect oh. their armor save though. Okay. We'll come on to right. that okay. later. Okay. Good okay. then. We're looking for fours. That's a very good roll. That's three out of five. Nice. That's good. So these two are okay. three deep. So they're not going to go in. Okay. So they miss. Mm -hmm. Now we need to wound. You need to look at the strength of your weapon. Okay, so the strength of my bioplasmic scream uh, is eight. It's pretty oh. strong. Okay, so your strength eight, matter your toughness four. Okay. Okay, so that's that double. <laughs> yeah, that's double. Yeah. Which is a problem for you, Maddie. Yeah, that feels a problem. That definitely is a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me quickly tell you how the like how it works to wound someone. Okay. Yeah. If the values are the same. So if your strength mm -hmm. matches your toughness, mm -hmm. you need a four, which is basically in a 50-50. A 50-50. Right? Yeah. Okay. Because how dice work, you've got the one, two, or three, and then you've got the four, five, and the six. Yeah. So 50-50 chance on a four, five, or a six, you'll be successful. Yeah. Okay, if they're matched. If your value is greater, mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier. Yeah, we bump it down to a three. We, so it's a three. So therefore, a three, four, five, or six will be successful. But because you're double, you need a two, mm -hmm. okay? Twos or more are gonna wound. And it works in reverse. So yeah. if you were weaker mm -hmm. than Maddie's toughness, you need a five. Mm -hmm. okay. And if Maddie's toughness was double your strength, or you'd more. need- Or more, yeah. you'd need sixes. Yeah. Okay? okay, so you need twos on these dice, mate. Twos up, and this is to attempt to wound. Come on, snake eyes. Oh, oh, one six, okay. one, get a single one. Okay, we'll so have a six and a five. two have been successful. Yeah. So you are wounded potentially. Mm -hmm. This has been crushing enough I to hurt you. I feel wounded, yes. Yep. What is the armor penetration? The armor penetration of the bioplasmic stream is minus two. Oh, minus two. So you have, Maddie, a three or more save. So okay. if you roll threes, you're okay. Right? okay. You've got a good save here, all right? However, we're going to modify the dice rolls by two. Okay. So actually, it's going to get a little bit harder. In fact, you need fives. <laughs> you actually need fives. But wait, it's okay because you're in cover okay. and you get plus one I to am the. In cover. You get plus one to the saving throw. Okay. All right. So actually, you, you need fours. Yeah. They're so going to balance each other out. Yeah. Okay. So your AP minus two. Mm -hmm. You're in cover. You get plus one to the roll. So you're looking for fours. Don't roll ones, twos, or threes. Anything but those, and you're fine. Okay. okay. Split the difference. Yeah. So one, one. one of them just shrugged it off like no problem. The other one's Very actually wise. penetrated the armor. Mm -hmm. What is the damage of the attack? Let's find out. A, uh, let's see. Bioplasmic scream has a damage of just one. Okay. One. Just okay. one damage. One damage. Okay. All good. All good. One. You've got two wounds on each model. Nice. Okay. So. Still standing. You are still standing with a wound left on one of your models. Now you can choose. We're just going to say the one on the right over here. Mm -hmm. He's taken a wound. Okay. So you've half killed him. Yes. Congratulations. Now, one second, uh, because there is, an, paper there is an ability uh, on okay. the screen that called Death Scream. Okay. okay. In my shooting phase, after this model has shot, mm -hmm. select one unit hit by one or more of those attacks. That unit must take a battle shot test, subtracting one from the test. Right, so you're a little bit scared now. Okay. okay. So I screamed fair. at you. You're That's fair. She, he's a banshee. It's scary. Yeah. Is it like a, what sort of scream is it like? Is it like, oh, oh no, it's like a. <laughs> wow. Right. I told you I love turnips. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
freak. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd give you the exact uh, rendition, but I don't want to break your microphones. <laughs> appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So in order to take a battle shock check, mm -hmm. this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna check to see if you are shocked. I am pretty shocked. Yeah, yeah. I can I can see that. But happen. you are a space marine, and you've got a very good leadership Damn. value. Yeah. Damn, it's, God, I'm so good. You are so good. You're gonna mm -hmm. roll two dice, Maddie. Okay. And you need to get normally it'd be a six or more because it says six plus mm -hmm. on your data sheet, but we're gonna reduce that by one. And how it works, you'd think, okay. oh, sure, that's a five, isn't it? If mm. you take no, you modify the dice by one. Right. So basically a seven, if you rolled a seven, it mm -hmm. would then become a six, it's okay. okay. But if you were to roll a six, we would subtract one from it to become a five, which is under the six we need. So it sounds weird, but that's how it works. Yeah. All right, we modify the dice, not what you need. Not the target. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So essentially on two dice, yeah. roll a seven or more on both of them. Or more, okay. Yeah. You I'm can, adding them up. You can add them together. This is where math is gonna help us. Yeah. That's a six. It's not what I need. <laughs> now, it'd actually be okay if there mm. wasn't that minus one. So our six has now become a five, that's under Oof. six. It's like it's like we manufactured that to happen, but yeah. we didn't. That no, was that actually was, genuine. That was real. Well, yeah. Unfortunately so. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the magic of cinema. This is the magic of gaming. <laughs> <laughs> they always say never work with, what is it, children, animals, what and gamers. Is. Yeah, and with us, you've got all three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So Maddie, you failed. You yeah. are you're officially shocked, um, and you're going to remain yeah. shocked until the start of your next turn. Okay. okay? All right. Okay. So I think that concludes the shooting phase, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't think I've got anything else to shoot. Uh, these guys are pretty close, but they do not have mm -hmm. any shooting weapons. What about these little dudes? These uh, gaunts with assault weapons. What's the range of their weapons? I think it's 18 inches. Yeah, okay. I'll have a go on my big lad. If you think you're tough enough. Okay. Just about. <laughs> yeah. You've got. I mean. I don't think it's going to do anything, but you've got five that can shoot. Try it. Might as well then. So, Might as well. Try it. Five shots. You okay. hit on a. Fuck, I'm going to regret uh, They've got one hit each and they've got a ballistic skill of four plus. So, so okay. Now, all of them can see. Well, actually, let's if we do this, break it down. These two yep. are blocked by this, so they can't even see the big guy. Yeah. These lot can, but only five of them are actually in range of 18. So, we're only going to count them as shooting. You got it. Even five. though they're in the same unit. Exactly. Five okay. shots. Hit right. on fours. Look for fours. Two hits. Okay, not great. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. So what now, is your strength? yeah, we're going to do strength and toughness, right? Yeah. Well, I can imagine that the strength is not great yep. on these. Uh, the strength is five. It's actually, not bad. Okay. What's your toughness? toughness? On the giant robot, I imagine it's quite high. Uh, ten. Yeah. So that's double. So because it's double, good. you're going to need sixes. sixes. I've never seen them before. I don't know if they exist. <laughs> I did pay for sixes to beat the, the VT logo. I've heard good things about them. Yeah, yeah. I just. Uh, no, yeah. not quite. Maybe you have them together, but that's not the game we're playing. No, <laughs> Stinks the paintwork, mm -hmm. but nothing else. Quick it, look, touch up job, you'll be fine. Yeah. We're just making sure that you're aware of our presence. Yes. You know? yeah. Hey, I'm, lads. I'm not even looking at you. I'm like, hmm? <laughs> Let's give our position away. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. So that's fine. It. They're the chaff. That's what they do. You know? they, just, they distract. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I can't believe you'd give them the word chaff like that. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, they're, they're all hive mind. They, they, we can all hear each other's thoughts all the time. So all, might as well be know. pretty uh, honest with what we're saying. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the shooting phase. Mm -hmm. Everything that was eligible has been shot. Yeah. Um, because either it's moved too far or whatever. So now it's time for the charge phase. Yeah. You've only got one unit that can declare a charge. Because it's 12 inches, is it? That's it. You've got to be within 12 inches and not also advanced. Yeah. Now, your entire army advanced, Outside apart of, from these. Yeah. So they're the only one unit. Now, you can charge any unit you want within 12 inches. You could have a go at the Dreadnought. Ah! <laughs> I think I'll take the squishier about? little humans who are very, very close. Maybe? Yes. Yeah. If I remember, yeah. based on the, because I've played a bit of 40k before, but not 10th mm. edition. If I remember correctly, I need to roll the amount of distance I need to move, right? You do. And your um. guy's like an inch behind the wall, so we'll measure four inches to the wall. And uh, yeah, you're within five inches. Okay. Now you need to end within an inch. Yeah. That's what we call engagement range. Mm -hmm. So if you're within five inches, so mm -hmm. let's say it's like 4.5, and you need to be within an inch, how much do you need to roll on two dice? So if you're within five, what do you need to roll? I need a four, right? You need a four, correct, yeah. yeah. Pretty simple. Now Easy does that, charge. Is that going to work for all of my units or do I have to measure from the furthest one back? No, you measure from the front guy. 
Perfect. As long as one gets in, the whole team's in. Excellent. Oof, okay. So it's a little bit different from shooting. In this one, yep. I just need to worry about whoever's closest. Yeah, because they're going to move together in unit coherency. Got it. All right, well, here we go. So I'm looking for a four or higher on two dice. Don't Come fail on. it. Come on. He's fine. Oh. Yeah. We've got a six. We've got a six. We're so, all good. So you can move your models up to six inches. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. it's going to be really hard to see where these guys are, so I suggest we put them just on this level, just above, so we can see some better action, yeah. OK? So in actuality, they're on the bottom floor, but just for the sake of visuals, yeah, we're going to move them up. <laughs> yeah. So now you'd measure six inches, and they would just get into an inch. If you've rolled enough, you have to end base to base. OK. OK? And you did with the first one. The others will be just behind, again, keeping unit coherency. OK? Mm -hmm. So now you've made your charge, mm -hmm. and it is the only charge you can make. We move into the combat phase now, All right. or the fight phase. Now we start with any unit that's got the fight first rule, mm -hmm. and because you made the charge, you get that rule. Okay, so even if I didn't have it as a keyword, I get it because I charged in. Bingo. Okay. You got gain it. it, so you basically get some advantage by making the charge. Think of it like momentum, yeah. it's taking you in. And we then pile in any models that can. So mm -hmm. you can pile in your models up to three inches, mm -hmm. and ideally get them into base to base. Got it. Okay. Now, all of the models here, all the Yvonne Ryan's Leapers, are within engagement range, mm -hmm. so they can all fight. All right. Oh, dear. Let's do it. They can all <laughs> fight. So we need to look at their melee profile, and we need to see how many attacks each of them get now. OK, well, they each get six attacks. Ooh. Oh. Oh. OK. And this is where we come to the specialty of Warhammer, which is rolling giant fistfuls of D6s. <laughs> yes. Now, you've only got three. Imagine if you had six. I know. Oh. Imagine that. Can you even hold all of those? I mean, Stephen can with his big, strong hands. I don't know about me. Uh, <laughs> if you so, can't hold them, you can't roll them. Now, I like it. You can't hold them, you can't roll them. <laughs> That's really going to mess you up. <laughs> okay. Uh, i got long hands, so. <laughs> i got, got a good dice bucket them. for you, don't worry. Okay, yeah. perfect. So instead of ballistic skill, we're looking for weapon skill. That's how you're good uh -huh. with your weapons, yeah. yeah. This guy has got this guy. These guys have guys. Got three plus. Oh. Okay. okay. So, so roll some threes. Just don't roll ones and twos. Okay. Don't roll ones. Ooh, so I will few... find the ones and twos and take them out. Just take, get rid of those, oh. yeah. So they haven't hit. Do they have any other special rules whatsoever next to their melee, like sustained or lethal or any other universal special rules on their data sheet? Let's have a look. I'm not saying that to throw you off. They just gen it was a genuine question. Yeah. Um, so they actually have fight first regardless. Okay. Good. So they don't even need to charge to get okay. it. Okay. Uh, they have infiltrators and stealth, which is not going to be useful in this one. However, uh, they have something called Pouncing Leap. Ooh. So, oh, okay. uh, you can target this unit with the Heroic Intervention Stratagem for OCP, and can do so even if you have already used that stratagem on a different unit this phase. Okay, so the Heroic Intervention Stratagem is a core stratagem in the book mm -hmm. that allows you to heroically vein, intervene, sorry, in your opponent's turn. Okay. It normally costs two CPs, mm -hmm. which it would have allowed, if you'd have had two command points, mm -hmm. you've only got one. Yeah. It's definitely a Almost was not OCP, it's zero CP. Yes. Got it, okay. So the Terminators could have heroically intervened and also joined the fight with their with their brethren. Yes. But oh. you can do that stratagem for free mm -hmm. if they're still alive when you get there. Okay, so, <laughs> so you've hit on threes. Yep. What's your strength? Okay. The strength of my Von Ryan's Leapers is mm -hmm. five. Okay, and what is your toughness of these guys? Of these guys? I like how you went to look at them, like, guys. <laughs> well, I'm, trying, I'm trying to see what they look like so I can check on the things. I, I don't like know what it. they're called. They're called Stern Guard <laughs> Veterans. Okay. Stern Guard. How tough are you? <laughs> <laughs> tough enough. <laughs> uh, toughness four. We're toughness okay. four, Maddie. All right, so it's higher. Which means that I'm looking for threes. You got it. Okay. Right. We're, We're learning. learning, Maddie. We're learning. Oh, oh, so it's like, a, it's like I'm some sort of teacher. <laughs> with it's it's great. Like I'm playing with some kind of pro or something. Else. <laughs> I know. I know. Right, threes and up. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a good a roll. Two. That's a one and a two. Three. So that's a lot of numbers. Oh. They're looking pretty good. Okay, Maddie, on your stern guard veterans, you mm -hmm. can now save them with a roll. Okay. Depending on your saving throw. So, okay. what is your saving value? Uh, three plus. It's a three plus. Yes. Okay. So, is there any armor penetration on your attacks? Um, there is an armor penetration of one. Ooh. So, okay. you know how the dice modifier works, remember? Mm -hmm. So, you normally you'd need threes. So now you need fours. Oh no. Fifty-fifty. Come on, you fine. Fine. What's the damage? Uh, just one. Just, just one, one damage. But 
given the massive pile of dice in that hand, just might not need to be much higher than that. Oh, that's going to sting. Actually, no, it's 50 50. Yeah. That's an average roll, which we would okay. expect on four ups. So they're okay. But this you have to allocate to your unit. So that okay. one is one damage that will kill a wound mm -hmm. on the guy on the end. So he's dead. These, so you already had a wound from that screen. Yeah. These two are going to kill the next one. Mm -hmm. And these two are going to kill the next one. So you've lost three of your five elite veterans. <laughs> ouch. That is a bit of an ouch, actually. Not yeah. that elite. <laughs> <laughs> they were. Two personal bugs came along. Maddie, I think we had a deployment problem. Had a deployment probably, problem. We probably should have put the big tough guys at the front. Yeah, that's fair. But anyway. Look, we're here to well, learn. We're here to learn. They're here now. Something Sorry. had to die. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just eat up my whole squishy guys. Focus on them. Yeah, look. You know, it's better fine. than losing Terminators, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And now you're, now you're right in front of my guys. For yeah. When, but the, it's my exactly guy? what you so, want. The punch is exactly what you want. I meant to do this. Yes. It's Bait. all in my grand plan. Bait, so that's what yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> now, Maddie, when you remove the models mm -hmm. from the table, um, you can remove them in any way you want, okay. okay? But you do have to, you can't unfortunately put like a wound on each guy. Mm -hmm. You have to kill off one before you put right. any more wounds that on the next, sense. okay? And try to keep them in coherency. So I probably would go one, two, three, get rid of them. Yep. Because you don't want to take yourself out of coherency, okay? So Maddie, yeah. you've lost a few guys. I have. They're just little guys, it's fine. They're yep. just like little guys. But the two remaining get the fight back. Yeah. yeah. Fight phases for everyone. Boom, boom, boom. The fight phase is egalitarian. <laughs> That's nice. You're sharing with me. Yeah, I'm sharing. Lovely. How many attacks each do you get? Four. Four attacks? So you need to roll how many dice? Four dice. You got two models. Oh, for each. Yeah, no, you've still got some left, don't worry. Oh my god, look at me go. <laughs> look at this. This is a handful of dice. This is what I'm talking about. Not as many as you had. Yeah, what, well, what, yeah. What's your weapon skill? My weapon skill. Yeah, what do you hit on? What's the number you need to roll to hit? So oh, weapons. three plus. You got it. Yeah, three nice. Plus. So get good. Go. Roll, roll All right. good. All right, come on. Come can on, you hit the little above. bugs? Oh, that's good. Ooh. That's one miss. Oh, Maddie can hit all right. Oh, yeah, yeah look at that. Yeah. Now, can we land the punches, though? So what's your strength? <laughs> see. My strength was... I don't have to look again. <laughs> three? Yes. No, four. Yeah, four, it's three, four. Four. Said, right? four, three, four. And what is your toughness? Okay, the Von Ryan's Leapers have a toughness of five. Oh. Okay. So if they were matched, you would need fours. Right. You're weaker than the Reapers, Leapers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ron Ryan's Leapers, Reapers, whatever. Ron Ryan's Reapers. <laughs> Them. Rolls off the tongue. So you're going to need what now? If it was equal, it'd be fours. Uh -huh. this so is... we need fives? You got yeah. it. Very good. Okay. I am impressed. Yeah. You guys are getting this well easy. I can leave it. Look, this is Maddie's first ever 40k game. Period. I can leave it a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got this. this is my yeah. first game of Warhammer ever. Yeah. And I'm. I'm yeah, you, well, you welcome dying. to the trenches. <laughs> 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 Ooh. It's not bad. Two hits. Two wounds. Yep. Okay. Two have landed. AP is armor penetration. Oh, it's zero. I think you're right. And you're saving it's for zero. Uh, so this is interesting. We can talk about this. So my Von Ryan's Leapers have a saving throw of four plus. However, they also okay. have a vulnerable save of six plus. Do you want to explain that quickly? Okay. So if you've got two saving throws, mm -hmm. so you're saving throw is like your normal armor mm -hmm. but then an invulnerable save is like a magical armor that can never ever be modified mm -hmm. by armor penetration wow. okay okay but because there's zero armor penetration on this attacks mm -hmm. i would suggest you take your armor save because it's four up so i get to choose whenever i'm um saving yeah mm -hmm. so that might come into effect you might think okay well what's the use of it if there's a minus four armor piercing that i'm getting you hit with my save will go from a four plus to an eight plus, which is terrible because I physically can't roll those. Correct. Oh. The nice thing about an invulnerable save is I can pick that instead. So at a bare minimum, mm. I still get my six plus. So for example, the Terminators mm -hmm. have a four plus invulnerable save. <laughs> and they've got a two plus normal save. Jesus. That's pretty good. So nice. basically, they'll only ever be affected by minus two AP. Yeah, minus yeah. two will take them to their four up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. there you go. All right. So fours, mate. Fours and up, here we go. None. Both failed. Zilch. You've landed two punches. They're one damage each. How many okay. wounds do each of your models have? They each have three wounds, I'm afraid. So okay. One so of them's yeah. going to go down to one health. One guy's got a wound left. And that Fine. will conclude the turn. Mm -hmm. We're done. Okay. Game, set, match. Right. Hot dog. That's it. Now, we're on to your turn one now, Maddie. 
Okay, so we're going to first of all go into the command phase. Okay. Now in the command phase, you've got this rule called Oath of Moment. This is a rule that you get for being a space marine. Yeah! Woo! Go space marines. Now you... <laughs> Okay, go my, <laughs> go my seven foot massive spirit animals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can pick one unit on the table. Uh huh. And for the rest of this turn, mm -hmm. until your next turn, okay. you can re roll any failed hits or wounds. Jeez. It's very powerful. Okay. So. Who do you want to kill? Ghostbusters. Oh, no, what? <laughs> no, so a different one. Different game. Who do you want to pick? Will it be? That's who I'm going to be able to actually get to. Will it be the thing. massive bug? Probably massive bug. Will it be the the griblies right in front of you that you have to mm, kill? That's also true. Um, or maybe just you know another pick. We're doing assassination, and I've got to kill your characters. Your, yeah. Your big guys, right? So. Well, so this isn't a character. I right? will just point that out. Oh, okay. Yes. Who wants to be killing? It's big brain man this over one. here. Yeah. And this wing dude. Mm. Mm. Now you could okay. pick him. He's just a little guy. Don't worry about him. Just a little guy. Is he blocked by... He is being blocked by that. Um... So I'm like, is it worth me picking if I'm not Well, the, the Dreadnought could move out and just shoot him. That's true. That could happen. Uh, these guys in here could move forward and attempt to charge or try and flame him. Hmm. Right, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll pick the wing guy then. Oh, she's okay. going straight for the throat. Interesting. Right, wow. There's a bold, few points. It's a bold move, Con. Worth a few points. See if it plays out. Yeah. Just going, just going aggressive for it. Okay. Yeah. Getting, getting those points I said I I mean, look, I set the precedent, didn't I? <laughs> so. mm. Okay, so you're picking the winged prime. You're going to try and assassinate him. So every time you roll any dice, you can mm -hmm. reroll the hit and wound roll. So that's okay. your command phase. Sweet. Remember this command phase, you both get a command point. Okay. So you're Ooh. up to two now, Maddie. Oh, all these My things points. you can spend them on. I'm so many. Um, we also in the command phase have to check for battle shock. Okay. Now these guys were battle shocked earlier from the screamer killer. Yeah. So they at the start of the turn become unbattle shocked. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you need to roll for them again, and the reason why you need to roll for them again is because they are under half of their starting strength. Ooh. So their starting strength nice. was five. <laughs> yeah. They've lost three. Okay. So you've got two left. Okay. That's under half, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's math. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I trust you. <laughs> They're under. So okay. we need to do a battle shock check once more, but none of that okay. minus one modifier. So six up is what you need on two dice. Come on. Let's see if they rout. Come on. Let's under do it. Horrible, Don't be scared, guys. horrible, no, scary forces of the really tournament. Yeah. Oh, that's Not a happening. rout. I think we need a bit more conviction in that, uh, that talk, I think, Maddie. Yeah. So they okay. failed. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. They it's failed. Fine. You cannot. <laughs> You're in a bit of trouble here. You, yes. you can't use their objective control becomes zero. Okay. You can't use stratagems on them. Okay. And if you want to fall back, you've got to take a test and you might die on the way out. It's looking bleak. Anyway, that's just Warhammer for you. That's fine. That's life. That's okay. That is the life of Warhammer. Okay, so that concludes. Now, there's no scoring to be done in the first turn. We always mm -hmm. start that in turn two. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, now it's on to your movement phase. Okay. Okay. Maddie, your movement phase? Yes. Where do you want to start first? This is where it gets scary. <laughs> yeah. The only problem with going first is, you know, you move all your stuff in range yeah. and then it gets shot to pieces. It so does. You lined up, ready this for me. This is the counter attack mm -hmm. okay. of dreams. I'm going to come back to this in a second. This is the problem, Things is going it? On well, they're stuck here. in fight anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I'll be maybe like, what I'm going to do with these guys, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. These, okay. I want to be charging in to, to get a nice little wing guy. Well, they've got a flamethrower. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, now they can move six inches uh -huh. and then flame throw 12 inches of just pure burning heat. <sighs> and that's gonna just go through this stuff? No. Yeah, so I still need to go around, right? You need to go around. Now you might yeah, not I even just be able to. Come here and... Well, do you wanna measure out six inches to see where you get? Because you might wanna come out this way and flame these little bugs, or you might wanna move out that way and flame them little bugs. Now remember, it's model to model. Yes. So it's model to model who can get in um, range. Okay, so what I'm with these guys going six inches. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get a very far. Now move front to front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm that's about right. Just, Perfect. just out here. Yeah, just out the walls. Cool. So you'll definitely be able to flame those things that are sat on the barbed gaunts right in front of you. You can definitely flame those things. These ones? Yeah, you can definitely flame okay. them, yeah. And I move all of these guys together as... Correct, yeah. Right? 
And as a reminder, they need to be two inches or closer to each other. To each other, yeah. And unit coherency is what we call it, yeah. Now, are they all within 12 inches of those barbed gaunts? Let's see. Have you moved them? And can they all see as well? So when you're moving uh, your models, try and move them so that, so he could be here, for example. So yeah. We, so they can all see them. Yep. Yeah. And are they all within 12 inches? Yep. Yeah. Just slap them on the head. Just slap them on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are you yes. In the range? Yes. Yeah. They're all in. Okay. Beautiful. What about your Terminator captain, Captain Vanguard? Yeah. He can all move right. five inches. Captain Vanguard, he's a hero. Oh, I didn't know he had a theme tune, but that's yeah, cool. I love that. Damn. No, yeah. The Terrians love it, No apparently. Captain Scarlet fans in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're talking about, man. I was also too, too young for it, but don't worry about it. <laughs> I've got older brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course, content. of course it was, yeah. Listen, mate, we're in your room playing with your toys, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I made the rules. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, just out. you're yeah. just getting them out. Yeah. Because if you move forward, you might be able yeah. to charge around the building and then get him in combat. Yeah. That would Captain be great. Vanguard's okay. got nothing to fear. The okay. only thing he should be worried about is this guy. He's, he's, he's on the other he's side of the pool. He's far away. I can barely yeah. even see him. Exactly. So, what am I doing for a charge? Just moving well, and then. You could just move five inches to like mm -hmm. the front of this wall part. Yeah. Okay. And then it'd be quite a long charge, but if you roll big, you could make it. And you got command points. Uh, you know, yeah, let's try it. I'm feeling lucky. And he re rolls his own charge roll anyway. That's his own special Ooh. rule. Damn. So, yeah, just stick him right in that gap. Yeah. He's got a big sword and he likes to use. So, I don't knock everything over. That's right. Just, if you need to, squidge the other guys forward slightly. Guys, I'm just popping in, just... Oh, there we go, fine. Excuse me, lads. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's looking great up there. Yeah, he is it's looking like pretty cool. Very heroic. Very heroic. That's Captain Vanguard. Time together all. <laughs> okay, Vanguard. so mm -hmm. what about this big guy here? Who's he going to try and shoot? Is he going to try and shoot down the big predator? The apex predator that's running at you screaming? Oh, about <laughs> Let's not oversell him, you know? He did what, yeah, one I, damage? I, I let's kind of all calm like... down. Yeah, big guy his. versus big guy makes sense. And this is or there's the other psychophage over there. You could shoot. Yeah, That's they're both true. visible. Mm, they are. Um, or maybe you want to put your massive las cannons into the weak chaff. Yeah, that sounds good. See yeah, I'm gonna get to. I feel like you're moving closer to it. What's my? Do you mean to get a little bit closer? What's your range on your ballista dreadnought? Uh, oh, 48 inches, never mind. 48 inches? Never mind. Don't even bother moving, Maybe mate. I'll just hang out there because I've got all of you looking right at me. Remember though, Maddie, we are looking mm -hmm. for these objectives, so if you can get That's close. True. Remember though, Maddie, if you get close to this, it will rip your face off. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Like I'm maybe getting some lies from you, Wills. I, what I'm sensing is uh, pro Space Marine bias. That's what I'm sensing. <laughs> Which is just, just I feel classic. Like maybe you mean pro space back. marine biomass? Yes. Is really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm pro space marine biomass. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you're not pro it. I feel like you think you're pro. All right, maybe I'll just. I'm a big fan of it. I like to, like to eat it up and turn it into spaceships. Back then because these guys are coming around here, and then these guys I mean, can move. There's soon. nothing stopping you shuffling backwards in a tactical retreat position to make use of your maximum range of 48 inches. Oh. Go backwards? You can go backwards. That is a thing you can do. Mm. Yeah. So with these guys are want. shooting, you can't move and shoot unless they've got an assault. Right? No, that's if you would make a run move. You're oh. just making a normal move. You're fair game. Mm. You're good. Just now I do mean there are heavy weapons, right? So there are heavy weapons, and yeah. if you've got a heavy weapon keyword, then if you stay still, you get plus one to hit. But okay. you don't, so don't worry about it. Okay. Looks like it's back up a little bit, then. Yeah. Or you could move in that way a bit. Just, just get round. Yeah, you could move around the pipes. Well, you can actually move over the pipes because they're only small. Just step on them with my big feet. <laughs> yeah, walk over them. Mm, all right, I'm gonna come out a little bit. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just sneak like a little five inches over. Eight inches, yeah. So That's how far you can move. Cool. Why now, can, that far? Just... can you still see the big guy that you're trying to shoot? Can any part of oh, your model see any no, part? No, okay, I probably should have stayed I that mean, way then. As long as you can see this bit, you're okay. God. No, I don't think I can see anything from Classic that. Classic Tyranids with their poor little spiky jaws, <laughs> making them easy to hit. What if you moved further and got eight inches? Could you get line of sight? I think you probably could then. Oh yeah, yeah around the side. Yeah. Or you could just shoot the big 
Psycho what a phage. psychophage. Like he is really billowing dangerous. toxic gas everywhere by the looks of things. So. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah get over there. Okay, I can get around. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <just laughs> God, he's big. <laughs> that looks like line of sight to me. Well, my gun can just see line of sight, which yeah, well, is that's the, important the part. most important thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Okay, cool. Now, these stern guard veterans, yes. what will they do? Are you going to stay still in combat or are you going to get them out of there? I. Yeah, because I can't really split them up, unfortunately, which is what would be my main choice. Um, I feel like I kind of got to get rid of these, otherwise they're going to like come Agreed. and grab me from behind. So Agreed. Yeah, I you guess I probably just got to stick together, I mean, unless I could get like... You can just move them out, mm -hmm. which means this unit can shoot them and then charge them. Oh, amazing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Would love to do that. Would okay. Love to shoot and charge. But because you're battle shocked, when you move away, mm -hmm. you've got to roll a dice. On a one okay. or a two, you just die. <laughs> oh Jesus! It's a risk I'm willing to take. I mean, probably so is that one per unit? One okay. per model. Yeah. Okay. okay. On, model, and what? Sorry. I die on a one or a two. Yep. You, you got two rerolls. It's called a desperate breakout test. Mm. Ooh, no. Oh. Okay. Almost dead. That's yeah. fine. You got Unless you wanted to spend a command point. No, I'd rather save it to just yeah, agreed. kill your big guys and stuff. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Be gone. Cowards move, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> now these Terminators, are you just going to stay there, shoot, charge and kill them? Yeah, that's that's the aim. I'd yeah. like them to die. Okay, all right then. Sounds good to me. Be gone. So, um, well that concludes the movement phase. We're into the shooting phase. And here's where it gets scary. <laughs> You've got a lot more guns in range <laughs> than I did. Get on my guns. Hey, you came up into my space, man. That's on you. Uh, we you both came towards the objectives, I think. Do you remember my space? I haven't even moved. Yeah, I remember my space. Yeah. Going back some time, isn't it? My yeah. good pal Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Tom. Yeah, Tom being around my space. Oh, you know how he was okay. like on everyone's friend list? Oh, yeah. That was embarrassing, wasn't it? <laughs> God, shameful. Made a website so it... you could pretend to have lots of friends. <laughs> Why is every man who starts a social media platform just, just <laughs> not no friends? I don't know. <laughs> so, where would you like to start? You've got basically one, two things. You've got mm -hmm. three units I can shoot. Which unit do you want to go first with? Let's start with these guys. Okay, cool. Nice I want advice. these guys gone. All right, you know, then. they're right in my face. I hate what's going on with them. I think they're ugly and weird. Wow. <laughs> Classic xenophobe. Uh, right, so what kind of guns you got on these Terminators, Maddie? So, Ooh. you've got the Librarian's got a Storm Bolter. Okay. And four of the Terminators have got a Storm Bolter. So you can basically put all those dice together and roll them all together. Because okay. I know, Maddie, how much you love rolling loads of dice. I do. So, Maddie, can you tell me how many shots you get on your Storm Bolter? It will say basically a range on your Storm Bolter. Okay. And then it will say attacks. And then that's how many shots you get. Yeah. A for attacks if you're looking at one of the little strips of numbers. Uh, two. Two. But you've also got a special rule called Rapid Fire 2. Ooh. Not a fan of that rule. <laughs> now, your maximum range is 24 inches. Okay. Ah, uh, it's this one. Because you've got a rapid fire weapon, when you're within half range, 12, which... I am. Yeah. You get additional amount of shots where it says the two. If it said Rapid Fire 1, you'd okay. get one extra shot. But you got two. So each guy is going to give you four shots. So hold out oh all your hands. God. Remember, if you can't hold them, you can't roll them. <laughs> no, so, I feel like we didn't say that. 20 shots. Good <laughs> drop, Maddie. Now, you've also got a psychic power from the librarian. <gasps> oh my God. Come on the library, please. Shh, we're shooting. Shh, can you, every six you roll, it's got a critical hit. And that critical hit will give you a roll called sustained hits. Ooh. Which means every six you roll will give you an additional hit. So roll loads of sixes, man. Okay, guys. Six is double sixes. damage. Lots of sixes. Yeah. Ouch. God, I, I literally can't roll these. Sorry, you can't roll oh, them then. No. It's just the rules. Okay. Two sixes. As you do. That was that's not, really not that great. Not the, be not the best roll I've ever seen. Yeah. So the ones amazing. in twos miss, Maddie. Yeah. But two sixes, so two extra hits go in, okay? Now you need to wound. Nice. Okay. Your strength is strength with these guys. Uh, on this one, uh, four. Four. Okay. Toughness five. You guys are getting it. What do you need? Fours on fives. You're weaker than he's tough. I need fives. Look at Come that. Come on. Roll them fives. Guys, give me some fives. Give me some. Give me That's some fives. so hard to ask for. 
No, actually. Ooh. No, it's not. It's not hard to ask for at all. You've done very well there. So four saves, please. Zero AP, so just like okay. a normal armor save. That's fine. So my normal armor save on a Von Ryan sleeper is a four plus. Okay. Now, we did actually forget to do something. Yes. You had the rule stealth, didn't you? I did. Okay, so Ooh. look, in the interest of fairness, uh -huh. you would have been, because you had the stealth rule, minus one to hit. Okay. All right. So earlier when you were needing threes, you'd have actually needed fours. Okay. All right. So I think in the interest of fairness, we instead of just doing all that again, let's just take a dice out. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds super fair. Yeah, no, yeah. There definitely weren't going to be hundreds of misses or anything. All right, here we go. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to do it again? No, 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 that's fine. I'll do it again if you want. We can I don't, I don't need a pity party from the space. Maddie's like, I can roll better. She's like, I'm going to go for more. I'll do it again. I'll get she's, all sixes this time. I think time. she's going to go again. Okay. All right, right. pause okay. it. Come on, right. Maddie. So what am I going? Fours this time. Because of stealth. I forgot about the stealth. That's fine. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. 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 Hands. Okay. What have we hand, held hands over the Warhammer game? <laughs> Nope. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> nope. oh no, hubris. <laughs> See what you mean when that big chat she gives it. Yeah. yeah. Look, you get an extra hit from the six though. I've put that in already. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mind. <laughs> so fives now. Wait, as long as you roll four fives, you at least equal okay. what you did. Okay, come on. Come on, fives. That surely, fives. how hard can that be? You Not know? hard. On a d6, how hard can that be? Okay. It was actually better. Yeah. See, again, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some space marine bias here. That's all. That's all. I'm just throwing uh, it out there. We just we out there. went back. You from were the like, oh, we um, were uh, actually supposed to give you less hits. So here's more. That's what you've done. <laughs> Hang That's on. what you've done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this was whoa. because you wanted me to redo it, and yeah. I, I, I said no. I don't look, want to space hey, marine look, hey guys. Bias, you know? Hey, look. This is why we've got a judge in the middle because <laughs> my god. Back gonna, off you two. Gonna get aggressive otherwise. Get my yellow card you out of You take your hits, man. They're right. on you. Okay. Four plus save. No, okay. it's not a four plus. Oh, because Be armor pissing. No, no, because you're in cover. Oh, am I? You get, and you get plus one to the armor save. Oh, that's great. You're in cover. Yeah, oh, so you get three ups. So even if we're both in cover. What do you mean, how come? They're, look where they are. They're in it. What, even though I'm looking right at them? Yeah, they still get it. They yeah, so um, we should clarify this because if you've played a different miniatures game. Mm -hmm. So for example, we play a lot of uh, yes. Frostgrave and things like that mm -hmm. where, you know, you have to be blocked by the object. You do. Whereas you'll notice in Warhammer, we've got these base plates here. So this is a piece of terrain. Yep. And because we're in that yeah. terrain, we're in cover, regardless of yeah. what's blocking us. You got, I think like when you play a miniature game like this, you've got to mm. imagine that there would be like, if you think of this room we're in, there's like dividing walls and stuff. Mm -hmm. There would be things where you could crouch behind like a table, a chair. All right. You sure. know, you've got to get a bit like, that. you've got to yeah. get a bit immersive yeah. with it. It's you an know? abstraction. Yeah. 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 Okay. So okay. I'm actually looking for three plus. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't roll ones and twos. I will try not they're to. they're bad. Yeah, really. they are. They're really bad. Really bad. Like all those oh! ones. Like these ones, for example. Yeah. That, okay. Your ones and twos. Your ones and, your, sorry, your damage is one. Mm -hmm. You've got three wounds each, but one guy's got a wound. Yeah. So that will. So that one wound is going to basically carry over to someone else and one of them is going to die. And then these two would then take a damage off the next guy. Okay. So that wound will just be placed onto him. He did. Oh, jeez. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> God, he's so stealthy. I barely hold it. <laughs> God, it's All so right. Slippery. The first Tyranid casualty. But wait, there is more shots. You have the classic assault cannon. Okay. Cannon? This one. God. Yeah. yeah. It just goes. Good lord. Yeah. Now, you are looking for to okay. hit on this weapon. What do you need? My cannon? Your assault cannon, yeah. Okay. You That's get six shots, question. I believe. Uh, six shots. Yes, three plus. Three plus. And do you have any other special rules on there? I do. There's one called stealth. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my abilities section? Uh, next to the weapon. What does next it say? So it uh, says oh, it's got devastating, devastating wounds. wounds. So your strength <laughs> six. Remember <laughs> that. Sounds okay. nice. Devastating wounds. Sounds okay. great. So remember, nice. we want loads of sixes here to get all those sustained hits from the librarian. Okay. okay. Come on, okay. you need fours to hit. Because of Come stealth. On, librarian. You can do this. Buff them up. Oh, oh, that's three sixes. Oh, wow. Boom. Nice. Feeling good. Okay, Feeling so your strength good. six, mm -hmm. your toughness five. So now you need, you're more than he's tough. So <laughs> your strength six. So am I just needing fives? No, you need threes now. Because you're stronger than he's tough. Okay. So you're, it goes in your favor now. Right. But you've got devastating wounds. Mm -hmm. Now that, that means. This will be triggered on what we call a critical wound roll. Okay. And a critical wound, like the critical hit, happens on a six. Mm -hmm. So if you roll any sixes to wound here, 
that damage skips his armor save, skips his invulnerable <laughs> save, and mortal wound straight to the heart, okay? Yeah, mortal wounds. I remember that horrible word. Oh, so, no. roll threes to wound, and he'll get an armor save. But if you roll sixes, it's just instant damage. All right, come on. Come on, come on sixes. No! Oh, wow. No! That's dreadful. <laughs> So that's four hits. Uh, Manny, that's not going well. So four armor saves of a three up. From the highest to the lows, you know? Yeah, you did so well. Three or better. Mm, okay. Oh, one hit. So um, that will just take the last wound off this guy. There's one remaining. Oh no, he's only got one wound on him, hasn't he? He had one wound left. Oh, he's got one wound left? Oh, yeah, he's now dead. Oh well. <laughs> take it. Worth, worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> worth a try, cheating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's only got one wound, I think. <laughs> now, Maddie, you've got okay. a librarian. Yes. And they've got what? Too many question. bloody weapons by the sounds of things. Go. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll look at my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Librarians of magic. Oh, they have magic? Okay. Yeah. Yes. They've, I thought you were going to say books, and I thought, yeah, it would have been fair, yeah. but yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's I in know. books, magic. Exactly, yeah. magic's in books. I don't know a librarian in this world, so it's all I'm <laughs> sorry. So you have a psychic attack, and if you'll, you'll find that on your ranged weapon. So do you want to mm -hmm. have a quick look at how okay. many shots you get on your ranged weapon? Maddie the librarian, you're gonna, we had a long chat about this. Yeah. You want to focus fire, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> Maddie's decision. I want to be toxic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this will come with a hazardous check at the end. That's fine. Because Ooh. basically you could draw so much power that it explodes in your hands Ooh, and hurts you. Ooh, that's fun, I like that. No, it definitely isn't fun. No, it's very, <laughs> it's very fun. Sounds terrible Look, to me. Again, we, love... we've come from Frostgrave, we're used to blowing, blowing ourselves up very Yeah, I'm used to like, yeah. if my wizard dies, even though he's my main guy, so be it, I just want my little treasures, you know? <laughs> I'm here for risk reward. So you get D6 attacks, I mean, okay. roll a dice, and that's how many shots you get. Roll the one. Oh. Three. Three, okay. Oh, down the middle. Okay. Okay, so three shots. Hitting on threes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cross it, talk yourself up. Okay. Well, Two hits. All right, all right. Ooh. No. Got stealth. Does stealth still apply to psychic? No oh, hits. No. No that hits. Works. But you still need to make a hazardous check. <laughs> okay. 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 So, if you roll a one here, yes. you're going to take three mortal wounds straight to the heart or lungs or any other organ that you want to apply it to. As I said before, roll a one, <laughs> roll a one. Stop! <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> Don't listen. Shh. Okay. <sighs> Where was that earlier? That's fine. You're Where okay. Was that librarian? You passed the check, you're fine. All right. Right, we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on next to the. Just, just, just take him, go okay. for a big guy, I guess. Ballista Strednor. Big guy to big guy. Big guy to big guy. Why not? Okay. Hey, look, between us big guys. Between a couple <laughs> of big guys. Between us seven foot tall persons. <laughs> um, Maddie, how many shots do you get with your Laz Cannon? Oh, here we go. Your twin, <laughs> your twin Laz Cannon. I'm going to go read my saves and stuff. I'll be back in a minute. Two. Two. What do you hit on? Three plus. Cool. And you re-roll the hit roll because he's not hurt yet. Oh, yes! Because he's not under half strength. So you get two shots hitting on threes. What are you looking at? I'm just checking. He's checking. What I've, well, I've got a fun rule called Deadly Demise, so... That's you know. only, only going to you. hurt yourself. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you it's not For now, For I'm going to be sprinting him right in. So If he makes this. Right, well, that's two Ooh. hits. That's two Laz Cannons. Boom, boom. Okay, you don't even need the re-rolls. Okay. Now, what is your strength, Mally? Of the last cannon. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, no. A twelve. Oh my god! He's a strength. He's a strong 12. cookie. So strength twelve and nine. You're greater. So what do you need? But Does not, I need a but three. Not Bingo. Cool. Yeah. And is this weapon twin link? Does it have the twin link keyword on it? It's a great question. I get the feeling the answer might be yes. <laughs> no. It's no? not twin linked. Okay. Does it say next the last cannon twin linked? No, that's okay. for Twin Storm something okay. at the bottom. So in that case, there are no re-rolls here. If it was Twin Link, you would be able okay. to re-roll the wound roll. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. It's a threes. Just one? One. Now, do you know what you could do? Uh-huh. See this one? Mm-hmm. Do you know what you could do with that one? A re-roll. You, you could spend a command point, have a re-roll on it. 
I would love to do such a thing. I just don't know why that's even relevant. I just, I just <laughs> love to be a big guy. Does some big damage. I want to shoot one of these nasty arms off. Yay! Hey! Roll a one. Roll a one. Stop, Stop listening to him. <laughs> now, <laughs> I said that after the fact. <laughs> as much as you'd like to, you can't mm. re-roll it again. Once that's you re-roll a dice, it's been re-rolled. Yeah. So an armor safe, sir. The armor penetration is... AP on the last cannon. It is minus three. Jesus. Well, I've got a two plus save. Okay. So I'm actually looking for a five plus. Well, you're also going to get the benefits of cover because you're not fully visible. You're only partially visible. Okay, cool. There we go. So, so I'm going to look for a four plus. Four plus. Four plus it is. 50-50. Don't roll a one, two, or three. That's a five. Oh! oh! God. That's fine. No. So he's completely okay, but you've got two rockets in your pocket, so still. <laughs> Yay! Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> so, no. how many shots does your rocket get? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> uh, my rocket. Is this a twin storm bolter? No, it's called missile launcher crack. Oh, missile. okay. Yeah. Uh, That's it. Crack. Two, two, two shots. In your strength, 10. Okay. AP2. Oh, sorry. So sorry. sorry. Didn't mean to kick you. Tripping you up. <laughs> See what you Come to my studio and trip me up. <laughs> right, Maddie, two shots. Hitting on all freeze. Right, all right. Okay. Ah, but it's okay because One. you because it's not hurt yet. You can re-roll <gasps> that dice. Re-roll. Now mm -hmm. it's happening. Two. Well, it still sucks. <laughs> That's, that's one though. That's one. Right, we need to have a chat about this rolling. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Do it better. Normally, I'm not sure you are I trying very like, hard. I like to roll really high up, but I feel like I've got a small area that I'm going to miss, you know? Because yeah. you're so tall. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm so tall. Next little, little box. Right. Little box. I little see box. what she's done there. She's <laughs> picking on me. I'm, <laughs> my surname's Box. Just a tiny little Stephen Box, isn't it? <laughs> right, what do you need to woo now, Maddie? Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Any time today, I'm sure you guys got to go. I'm trying. What's your, new for me. What's your strength, Maddie? I've already forgotten. Uh, my strength is looking at the top. Uh, ten. Correct. Okay. Toughness. Toughness is nine. Ooh, we need a three again because you're greater, but not double. That's all we're gonna drop. Let's try. Let's try a higher one. Yes. Oh, it does work. It does I told work. you. Yeah. Now it's AP two. Okay. But you've got a two plus save and you're getting cover. So three plus. It would normally be a four, but you're now need a three, yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Don't roll a one or a two. That's How about a six. six. That's pretty that's pretty good roll that. Yeah. That's that's really going on really on there. Uh, so your dreadnought did absolutely nothing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. However, you got the little uh storm bolts. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Alright, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> 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 Now, we cool. probably should have done this earlier uh -huh. because when you pick a unit to shoot, right. it's got lots of different weapons. Okay. Okay. And you've got the rocket launchers, you've got the LAS cannons, which are really good at killing this guy. Yes. But then you've got the the guns in its nipple region um, okay. called the storm bolters. That's fun for him. Now, they're really good at killing these little gribbly guys. Right. Okay. So, but they're terrible at killing him because okay. their strength is so low. Yeah. So, what we should have done earlier said, hey, my big guns into the big guy and the little guy, little guns into the little guys. Okay. You do that before when you allocate it. Right. But as you didn't know, right. and I failed to tell you as a terrible teacher, <laughs> I'm going to allow you to do it now. Unlucky. That's so, so that's to stop you going, oops, all of the guns that I was going to kill this thing with have, have mm. whiffed. Oh yeah, I actually meant to shoot with this one as well. Yeah, that's or fair. you go, oh yeah, the first gun killed it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, actually all these other guns are going to kill someone else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you overdid it, for example. Yeah. Oh, which hasn't sense. happened, so Definitely it not, would be no. the right no, choice. No, not in the slightest. So the storm bolters, how many shots mm -hmm. do they get? And they are, believe, I think rapid fire as well, so you get extra shots. Yes, rapid fire, two, twin linked. They are two. Two shots? Three plus, yeah. Okay, so you get four shots then. Okay, and you're hitting on threes. And you right. still get that roll where you get to re-roll your hit rolls. No one's been hurt yet because I've nope. done nothing. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't do it from high up, you know. Okay, so you reroll the one because you're, of your rule because they're not under half strength. So I'm special. Nice. Damn. Now you're wounding yeah. your strength four on toughness three. Uh, for my gaunts. Yep. 
Uh, those little guys. guys have a toughness of three. Yep, so you need threes to wound here. Okay. And they're twin linked. That's a universal special rule, okay. which means you can reel the wound roll. So look for threes and any ones and twos, you pick them up and redo them. Damn. Sweet. You'll still probably miss anyway, but whatever. Wow, <laughs> no faith. Come on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. from a one to a six. Prove me wrong. Now yeah. you're not in cover and you're fully visible, so yep. just on your armor save. And there's so no, no AP. Arm piercing. Okay. No armor piercing. So uh, <laughs> you'll be happy to know that a save is five plus on time of Gods. Okay. They suck. <laughs> uh, and here we go. That's one save. Ooh, so uh, three dead. All right. One damage each, one wound each. And am I right in thinking that it was this unit that was being shot? Correct, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take. Um, not the ones on the objective. Three on the on the side. Nice. Keep nice and close to that objective. Be gone. Nice. There's always more. Okay. No. <laughs> now it's time for the flamers. No, no. The infernus. Oh, God. Yeah, my little guys. I don't know if they like being called little. They're like no, literally okay. seven foot. Yeah, but in comparison to massive. Because I'm massive. so tall Hench. and yeah. huge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty. Yeah. You guys just, you can't see it, but I'm actually huge. Um, what we're doing right now is one of those like Hobbit yeah, style like camera the rings. tricks. Yeah. 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 This room is actually like, uh, it's actually really narrow here. Yeah. Stephen and it created really two rooms. One that's like giant size. <laughs> <laughs> and we've photoshopped you in. <laughs> one that's tiny size for wheels to go in. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, these guys are, yeah, they can just see these guys, so. Yeah. Go for little guys or for the big guys? Well, you're more likely to kill the little guys. Yeah, I feel like I'm going for the little guys, just get rid of them before yeah. they come up and shoot you. Get in my face. business. I don't know why, they would, why you think they would do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> so you. Each of these guys have got a torrent weapon, Ooh. which means you automatically hit. Okay. So we're going to go straight to the wound roll. Wow. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you can't really avoid fire, you know? But mm -hmm. guess what? They also ignore cover. So Great. No cover saves. Barely in it anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> now you do get d6 attacks per gun. Okay. So roll lots of sixes and you'll get loads of hits. So this is just how many times you're gonna shoot, not how much damage you're okay. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do it, sixes. That's a good roll. Okay, okay, so okay. That's gonna give you two shots. That will give you four shots. Oh, these guys need to die very That'll quickly. That'll give you huh? five shots. That'll give you four shots. Use some of your so, dice. These are automatically hit already, okay? Straight in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Flamethrowers get hot, you know. They really yeah. So, yeah, so did you. that. <laughs> now, what's your well, toughness? They Bob Gorn. What's your toughness? <laughs> um, they have a toughness of four. What's your strength? What's my strength of these guys? Infernus uh, Marines. Top, top left. Five. Damn it. Three, oh, three plus. Three pluses. I think they might be dead. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> Shouldn't have come out of that little hole, should you? I, it was, again, it was him who told me to, you know? <laughs> what, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> terrible coaching. Yeah. Okay, well, some didn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> some of them. Okay. Save, sir. All right, well, they've, they've got any yeah. armor piercing? Or no. No. Any armor um, piercing? Um, uh, no. no. Okay, well, the four plus save. Okay. okay. So I just need to get a four plus on every single one of these. And what's the damage? The damage is... Multiple points of damage each as well. One. one. Okay. Wounds? Wounds on a barb gaunt is two. Okay, so you've got right. basically ten wounds there. All right, so for every two of these, one of them's dead. You've got it. Every one. two that isn't a four plus. So mm -hmm. All right, no. I'm just checking. You know, they might have a special rule. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, they do, but it relies on shooting. Yeah, it's and more about to... it's more about them doing the shooting, which I didn't really get much of a ch chance to do. So <laughs> no, well, I just don't think you should be allowed. We, to we might not even need that. that rule, <laughs> think, you know, who knows? I think, let's just kill them so we don't have to read it. Four pluses. Oh, that's bad. Oh. That's hot, isn't it? Yeah. So one dead. Yep. Two dead. Yep. Three dead. Yep. Four dead. Yay! Four dead. These guys are fine. Four dead. Ain't. Ouch. How many are there? There was five. Oh, I thought there was only four, because I can only see four. No. Wow. Well, I'll take that. I'll take it. That's wow. fine. Well, I was expecting your dreadnought to do more on the big guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so but you just spread it around. It wasn't a, a perfect go. So I do think I was we... just shooting all around it. Yeah. 
Um, I think he just levered the disc to smithereens, really. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you've got one guy left. Yeah. That didn't go well, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> that can be a little battle shock as well. Well, he's not he's not there just yet because you've got Captain Vanguard. He would have also been within 12. Oh, four great. Shots. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. 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 Can Captain Vanguard finish, finish him, him off? off? So, Lovely. four shots. Okay. You'll be hitting on twos here with your Storm Bolter. Because he's oh, better. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. He might be within six inches of Synapse as well, so. He will be. You know, yeah. if he survives, that might help. Mm. So four shots, hit on twos with okay. Captain Vanguard. Okay. Nice, they all hit. Yay! Well, I mean, when you're rolling two plus, yeah. 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 <laughs> Strength four and toughness four, so threes. Uh, sorry, okay. fours, because it matched. Yep. Okay, okay. Come on. Oh, it's good. Ooh. Jesus. Three saves. On your armor, but you will get cover, so looking for three ups. Okay, well, that's good. No arm piercing then. Nope. Three ups. Don't roll ones and twos. Whoa. Hey! Yay! Look at that. That wasn't technically in the dice tray. <laughs> you kidding? You kidding? Those are the rules. Does this look like a face like kids? Yeah. No. Those are the rules. They are the but rules. Off camera, he's very jovial. <laughs> <laughs> So you're fine. It's fine. So it's all good. You're fine. Um, all good. You're fine. Absolutely fine. It was meant um, to be. Absolutely fine. Yeah. But we, you've got to do it fairly. Yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. Do it fair, you know. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't, if it's not Super camera. fair, you know, like that stealth roll earlier. Hmm. So anyway, moving on. <laughs> hey, we, we didn't buy the rules. <laughs> we tried to help him, didn't we? I know. We tried to help him. Unbelievable. Okay, so that concludes oh, the shooting phase. So now mm -hmm. for charges. Now this okay. guy fell back. When you fall back from combat, you can't Ooh. shoot. Got yeah. It. Although he's got That's an incredible bad. gun. Panicked. Yeah, panicked a bit. So charges, I, would you like to make any charges? Are you going to declare any? Ooh, yeah, I wanted to do a little charging, right? Mm-hmm. Was it, so what are the rules on charges? Can I just... So you pick a unit uh -huh. that's within 12 inches of an enemy unit okay. and you roll two dice and if you make the number, you can get there and go and punch them. Yeah. And if you roll anything lower than you need, nothing happens. Then right? you fail. Yeah. So I'd love for him. Charge at him. Oh, I thought you wanted to kill the character. Is, oh, yeah. Can you reach what it? You want to measure it? Round? So you'd have to measure round yeah, it, yeah. Okay. So what, what do you need what to get, get to this point here? Mm -hmm. So like, what, what's the distance from like? Like. A five? Yeah, about okay. five inches. And then measure from my finger to there to get within an inch. There, another uh, five? Yeah, for about another five. Okay, so you're within ten inches, you need a nine on the dice. Okay, he rerolls charges though, right? He does reroll charges. Yeah. Okay. Come on, and he does that for freezies. Okay. For freezies, mate. Just for free, because I deserve it. So ten plus? That's not nope. good. Okay. <laughs> you get to reroll? Now, a useful tip, when you do a reroll, uh -huh. If you reroll the same dice, it will always fail. So always go for two different oh, dice. Oh yeah, I always, if they've gone low. <laughs> that's science. <laughs> no, that's so true. If I'm rolling like loads of D6s do damage in an RPG or something, I will always reroll the ones that have got a six. Cause they like, they, you know, it's like when you're doing like a penalty shootout. The ones that, that want to do well, we'll gotta do come well. in it's and exactly do well. exactly like that. <laughs> you want to have a chat with the England team. Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's how they do it. Shots like, fired. Wh whoever says they want to do it, you're like, yeah. You're feeling, feeling positive for it. Oh, that's a nine. He's in. That's Is he up at you ten? No, you're within ten. Oh, so down. you only need nine on the dice. Oh, that's tough. Feeling really good. That is tough. Feeling so fantastic. he's Matthew. Get him in. Now, in this game of tenth edition, you can move over your or move through your friendly units. So you You've can just wait, guys. Come on. <laughs> Boss got some work to do. <laughs> Can I fucking area? Uh oh. <laughs> He's consulting the sheep. <laughs> I do have something quite interesting. Oh. Okay. He's got something quite interesting. But it depend, okay. depends on what happens. Okay. He's got something quite interesting. I've been okay. scrying. Oh, he's been scrying. Pondering my orbs. He looked at the top card and he yeah. put it on the bottom of his deck. No, I kept it on top. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, right. any other charges you want to make? Um, no, I think it was. Charge of Flames in, I reckon. Him. Yeah, charge him in. That's yeah. just him. Yeah. Go on. Coward. Any other, <laughs> any other charges you want to make, Maddie? Can I? Oh yeah, because I've killed these guys. Could I get some of these guys in now? Or is in like all you saying within that guy? <laughs> I don't, You've, these guys or this guy? I don't know what makes sense. The, he fell back, so he can't. Charge. Okay. Yeah. These guys are just fresh, you know. They're fresh yeah. with massive, huge power fists. 
Oh, I love that for them. Yeah. They're big hands. They've got really big hands. What they're really good is crushing bugs mm -hmm. in their fists. That's so nice. So I feel like uh -huh. you could, it's an option, yeah. you don't have to, okay. charge in and utterly destroy that bug. But again, it's your, it's your choice. As in I could charge to the one that's right in front of me? Yes, and oh. literally punch him so hard into the ground he no longer exists apart from bug splat. Yes, and I would love to do that if that's a possibility. Okay, roll two dice. <laughs> I'm not leading. They was, yeah. That was not a leading Fine. question. I've never no, played no, this no. game before. It's just a question. It was just a question. This is an honest, open, non biased. You asked the question, she said yes. What, exactly. what, what do people do about it? I that? didn't know I could charge the things right in front of me. So now it's the learning experience. Now you, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're in. Oh, look, you made it. Double success. Good lord. Feeling okay. good. Yeah, he's in. Yeah. Right. I think they made it. You only needed a double so. one, but you've certainly <laughs> made it on that. But the good thing is here, what you, a waste of double six. <laughs> you can just pile them all in. Hey, okay. hey, hey. Get a little bit of movement. Guys. Get a bit of extra movement out of them. Yeah. Dream. Okay. Now, punchy, punchy, punchy. Which unit would you like to go first with? But before we do that, we mm. always start with the units that fight first. Okay. So your Terminators now have it because they charge. Captain Vanguard has it. Do any of your units have fight first? So my Leapers do have fight first. Okay, okay. so we always start with mm. the non-active player. Okay. So you will get to act with your six attacks um, and he can probably maybe luckily kill Interesting. It. Okay, that's good. That's good. Gives him a chance. All right, so yeah, so they're getting six attacks, and I'm looking for a three or higher. Ooh. That's all of them. Ooh. That is every single one of them. Don't feel yeah. great about that. Love that. Big fan of that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I've got okay. a strength of five on their talons. Okay. Um, what am I looking at? It's all the stress, all the pressure of the, the weight of this this huge turn. It's big. Five. So looking for five. fours. Looking for fours. Here we go. Can you roll them? Big question. Ooh. That one did Ooh. go out. Why are you rolling so now, well? Now, now look at him picking up the dice. Hey. That hey. Whoa, whoa, you three. set the rule, buddy. You set the rule. I'm just, I'm just following it. There it is. All right, that's fine. So still a three. Yeah. Any uh, AP? Uh, there is an AP. Do you want to check your armor save? Of okay. minus one. Minus okay. one. I bet you've got a very good armor save, haven't you? Uh... It is very good, isn't it? Yeah. I think I think you're getting three pluses. I think they're getting twos. Getting twos. Oh, no. SB. Yeah. Yeah. Two plus. So it's modified by ones. You need threes now, okay? Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry. Yeah. The three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Jesus! They're going all over the place. <laughs> Just oh, okay. Yeah. One hit. Come on, you can two have. That's, you can do the best. Oh yeah, it's three, isn't it? Yeah. So. Two damage have gone through. You believe, I believe, have got three wounds, each, but yeah. I don't want to correct you. So, how many wounds do you have? One damage each. You'll probably be right. Uh, wounds three, yes. Okay. So, one guy taking two wounds has got one wound left, okay? Okay. And we use, just use the dice to mark out how many wounds he has left. All right. Only a heathen would count up. <laughs> okay? Just so you know, always count down. All right? Whew. Big debates about that. <laughs> it's like it's like you know. Do you put the jam on first or the cream? You know, it's a uh... look. Personally, as long as we're all doing the same thing, that's all. That's all I worry about. You know, as long as we're all doing the same thing, yeah, that's fine. Right. Because if I've if I'm counting up, you'll count down. That's going to get then, real yes. confusing. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But when, the reason why I love counting down is so then your opponent can go, "Oh, how many wounds has that got left? Oh, it's got like two. Yeah. I don't have to say, "Oh, how many wounds does it have total?" Yeah. Minus that. Makes it's sense. It I get it. I get sense. it. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's like the cream that. in the jam. I always yeah. put the cream on first. It's like a yes. pseudo. That's so incorrect. No, it's no, not. I'm, I'm going home. Why would you put jam on? Because a... jams are spread. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, but... So is cream in this context. No, it's not. It's like cream butter in this cream. context. Exactly. It's not butter. Exactly. Butter, You're it? putting jam not, on like a not... dry just bed. I tell you what. It's not butter. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> Look. In this context, it is. Look, you two. <laughs> Okay. And this is where it all Look, fell. Look, forget Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to let Warhammer decide, okay? Yeah, that's true. This, this game no. will dictate. <laughs> we should have led with this, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should have. So the mission is, in. if you win, <laughs> determines cream. whether you cream or jam first, yeah. okay? <laughs> you, know, you never want to be the one to cream first. All right, so um, you are going to go to your hits. 
Yeah. I'm just going to roll straight through that one. <laughs> just rolling with the punches. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Manny. Oh, so, um, I would suggest you go with Captain Vanguard next. Yep, okay. Okay, so how many attacks is he going to get with his Relic Sword? Well, he is our hero. Relic Sword. Where are you, Captain? Oh, right up here. Uh, six. Who'd have thought making Warhammer six. Cons would be so fun? <laughs> so six attacks, Maddie. Yeah. What, what do you hit on? Oh my god. <laughs> and then she looks and I Maddie, forget. Maddie, if you go over, <laughs> you can check I all forget. As soon as someone asks me, I'm like, I just forget. Oh, my mind's like, it's two. Plus. Hit on two. So you've got six attacks, hit on twos. And this hit one, on two. This was Lord. the unit that you decided you wanted to oath of moment. Oh my god. Yeah. So you get That's to re-roll all your misses. Yeah. So you basically just hit six times. Let's okay. see it happen. Oh, look, you did it six times. Cool. You hit six times. Now, what is your strength, Maddie? On My what's your strength toughness? Strength on the captain. And you may as well look for your armor penetration as well and how much damage, because I'm going to ask you okay. that in a moment. And how many toughness, save, and wounds do you have? Strength is five. Toughness, toughness is five. So fours. Okay. This so means a wound. Let's do this. And you get to re-roll any fails, because you've over-momented this horrible That's so nice. leader of the Nidbugs. I took an oath to say, get rid of this nasty bug. I promise I'll kill that bug. Okay, so half have missed, half are good, so you can reel those because of the oath. Oh, yeah. God damn it's oath. my oath. Mm. I feel like an oath. All right, that's only one. Actually. Okay, all right, two that's have fine. gone, that's good. That's fine. That's good. You were strength that's five, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what's the armor penetration? Minus two. Ooh, minus two? Good lord. Two. Good lord. He's only got a four plus save. What about an invulnerable oh. save, sir? Um, nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit crap, to be honest. <laughs> That's going to sting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, think poor, this, poor I think this could leave a mark, mate. Workman blames Sixes. his bugs. Six. How much damage per... Yeah. How much damage? I think it's two, when I was looking two. Yeah, two. Two. Okay, so this this could really kill him. This could squish him. I need two of these to, admit, to whiff, otherwise... Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Sixes, mate. Two sixes, please. That's one Ooh. six. I've got a command point. But do you want to waste a command point on a six? Probably not. However, he's about to die. Okay. So, I'm going to activate his ability. Okay. Ooh. Death blow. Okay. If this model is destroyed by a melee attack. Correct. Ooh. That happened. That okay. If it has not for this phase. It has not for this oh, phase. No. Okay. Roll 1d6 on a 4 plus. Do not remove it from play. Oh. The destroyed model can fight after the attacking model's unit has finished making its attacks um. and then it's removed from play. So on okay. a 4, it fights you back. See now that I might use a command point on. Ooh. You can actually use it on that. No? There's only certain things in the rules you can oh. use a command point reroll on. It's to reroll an advance roll. A hit, a wound, a save, a damage, a hazardous check, a desperate breakout check. I believe that is off the top of my head, but it definitely isn't this rule, Damn. unfortunately. That sucks. That's good. But just roll good. <laughs> yeah. Just roll a four. No. If I roll a four, it doesn't no. matter. Let's not do that then. Four, five, Let's or six. Roll. Come on. Five, six. 50 Let's 50 roll. to be able Come to on. try four, and five, kill six. Four, Let's five, six. Four, five, six. No! God, I needed that. God, I needed that. Okay. Captain Vanguard could be... Because look, because if we take each other out, then it's fine. Yeah. You know, five points of peace. Five know? points okay. of peace. Okay. So, have you finished doing your melee attacks? Yeah, because you're dead. Yeah. So, now I will now attack with him. Now you're fine. Okay. So. You could be in trouble. Yeah. I don't want to lie. He I'm has not feeling great. No. prime not feeling talons. Great. He also Ooh. gets six attacks at two plus. Okay. So, you know... Sure. It goes around, comes around. I know? like the demonstration of the uh, prime talent. Prime talents. Yeah. Going in. That? Is my alpha prime a little bit, perhaps? I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> what are you hitting? Two on? pluses, so they're all hitting. Well, you just hit. You hit then. Okay. Yep. Right. Um, and he, and he has a strength of six. Okay. Toughness five. Oh, excellent. All right. I'll take three pluses. So threes. Don't mind mm. that. Looking for threes. No ones, no twos. Wow. Ooh. Okay. That is awful. Okay. That is really awful. Yeah, your attacks aren't twin linked or anything. That's what kind of the word you want to read right now on your sheet. <sighs> I would love them to be. I would love them to be. But right. they're not. They're not. So they do do till damage, two damage each though. So, you so know, they're gone. Potential four damage. AP? Uh, AP of minus one. Save is a 
two plus because he's a terminator like them. Okay. So just don't roll ones and twos and you're okay. Now. Okay. You failed it. So once per battle round, right. you can use a stratagem for free for zero CP. Yes. So you know that stratagem, which is a called a... I can't remember what it's called, but I can re-roll, right? It's called a command point re-roll. Yay! So pick up that one and give it a re-roll. Yay! No! Hey, you didn't pick up any dice! We told you. You didn't follow his instructions! Oh God! And you died. That is a terrible decision, man. <laughs> sorry. It finally sorry. happened. Roll, roll credits. Roll it. credits. No. See, look, this one, you'd have rolled it and been fine. Yeah. You could have picked this one up and rolled it and been fine. Or yeah. this one would have been fine. No, actually, that would have I just think that <laughs> the dice are biased and hate me as well, hey, look, I think. Look, you're just taking two damage. Could have been, could have been worse. How many wounds yeah. have you got? Two. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, six. Okay, so he's four. down four health. Four left. That's fine. And we're gonna count down, everybody. Okay, we're gonna count down. Yeah. So there's four left. Okay. Counting down. Down. Can't believe. This, Be gone. Look, <laughs> this, <laughs> this winged Tyranid Prime is just prime real estate for getting killed. Honestly, he is. He's done absolutely nothing of value. You know, two wounds. Wow. Useless. I wouldn't okay. have him leading well, my force, that's what I'm saying. Now, and yet, here you are. It, oh, we've got this unit to fight here. Yeah. So you've got loads of Terminators. Yeah, 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 Can yeah. you look how many attacks a Power Fist has for me, please? Power Fist has... Uh, three. Cool. Doing three plus. You've got four of them with a Power Fist, so we'll do mm -hmm. those first. Okay. And then we'll resolve the guy with the sword, and then we'll do the Librarian. Okay. But I have a feeling this might be enough. Yeah, okay. I reckon he might be So gone. what do you this hit on? Uh, again, I literally just read got, what, it, and then I forget as soon as I say. So. Uh, Lava, three plus, yeah. Okay, so three's to hit. And stealth only works in the shooting phase. It does, yeah. No. No, you okay. didn't. But, so the ones and twos miss. But what else do you notice there? But they have sixes. many sixes. And sixes. what do they do? Because oh, you've got the librarian. I've already blanked. <laughs> no problem. Double uh, hit. So the librarian, every six you roll, because oh. these are a critical hit, because you've got sustained one, gives you an extra attack yes. for each one. Do I? Oh, one more. Yep. Okay, so they basically all hit. Feeling good. Your strength is? The library is open. Um. <laughs> Membership revoked. <laughs> Eight. Toughness? Toughness five. So, threes to wound. Okay. Do, I do love my local library. Whilst you're this doing this, I'm just going to take that sheet down. This is the testament <laughs> to them. I get the feeling they, uh, they Shout might Shout out to Brighton Jubilee Library, love you guys. <laughs> this one goes to you. I love this. my library. So they, they fail. Uh -huh. Armor penetration is? Oh, this, you know that six plus incredible save? Yeah. You might need that about yeah, now. Yeah, I might, I might. Minus two. Okay, so. That's fine. Ooh. And damage is? Oh my God, yes. Probably should look at all of this at once. Uh, <laughs> two. Six anyway, innit? Two. So if these are all sixes, then I'm fine. Okay. Exactly, things like that. Oh, get a good effort. Ooh. A few of them. So you've taken four, six, eight, 10, 12 damage, mate. Hold on, let me just check how many wounds he has. Um, yeah, he's got yeah. three. So yeah, no, okay. I, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna, Bye. don't mind Maddie. I'm just gonna take him. And Slip, him. Yeah. Have fun. Cool, cool, cool. Nice there we go. Now, um, one thing we forgot to do, um, Captain Vanguard could have consolidated into the unit, but we didn't do that. So um, that can, will now conclude, because you want to keep on the objective anyway. Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you don't want to give those gaunts just free attacks nah. on you, because no. then, then you might die. Yeah, right. Exactly. Come, come yeah. to me. Exactly. So, so that will conclude your turn now. So you've, all the yeah. fights are done. Mm -hmm. um, now, Maddie, I've got some good, good news for you. Yes. You've absolutely assassinated that character, which means <gasps> you're going to score five points. Five points. Uh, yeah. Stephen, you said you can't actually score in the first round, so that's going to that's going to be null and void, right? That's yeah, no, right, no, no, right, no, Stephen, right. No, that's uh, <laughs> that's for the primary. Yeah. Okay. okay. No but <laughs> look, look, we're going into turn two next. We are. And in your command phase, if you're on any objectives, mm -hmm. okay with an OC higher than Maddie's OC, which we call objective control, mm -hmm. you could score some points in the primary. Okay, that's but that's gonna be coming up in battle round two, coming up next. Okay. Well, 
That has been a whole turn of Warhammer 40k 10th edition. We did it. We've pretty much covered most of the rules that are going to mm -hmm. get you started with the game. We've gone through movement, shooting. We've gone through charging and fighting. We've done psychic attacks. We've got... <laughs> We've got a yeah. person miming out every single thing That's that we do. do. That's what I ask um, the channel. We've talked about how to resolve your attacks, how many attacks they have, their armor piercing, Numbers. their strength and toughness, all that kind of stuff. So with that base knowledge, you now should have what you need to get started. There's going to be extra bits. There's going to be stuff about like mm -hmm. army building. Uh, there's going to be things about how to set up your own game with your own objectives. Yeah. Um, there's going to be special rules for, for what army you build. So, for example, I was using the generic Tyranid rule, but I could pick a high fleet, for example, like uh, like Jormungandr or something like that. Uh, if you want to learn more about the nitty-gritty of Warhammer, we have your person right here. Because Stephen Box here is a pro Warhammer player. He does paid tutorials where he can teach you exactly how everything goes. Do you want to tell people at home a little bit about that, Stephen? Yeah, so we live stream every Wednesday night. So you can come and check us out, play right here, live, 2,000 point battle reports. That's completely free. So yeah. you will learn Thanks. loads. We try and blend entertainment, education together. We've got recorded battle reports as well, so you can kind of see this stuff, a bit of high production value. But if yes. you would like to learn with us, you can come on one of our online courses. We've got a learn to play course. So that's going to get you going. If you've never played Warhammer before, we take you through each of the phases of the game. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice introduction course we've got what we call the accelerator so someone like yourself you've already played warhammer yeah. like ninth edition mm -hmm. you've got a bit of an idea this is just the knowledge you need to know to get you playing 10th yeah like a quick transition course yeah. both of those take about a week you can study at your own pace online we, we do facebook groups so we can help you throughout that whole time mm -hmm. and then we've got our academy that's 16 weeks long it's not for yes. the faint-hearted yeah <laughs> but we'll get you ready so that wherever you are in the game will help mm -hmm. you get to that next step Nice. Okay, in that, in that, we'll go over, you know, list building, mm. the tactics, the strategies, which order you should do things, how to deploy your models, where you need to use terrain, and all the minutiae, we can get you ready to go to tournaments and be part of this awesome community. So yeah, that's what we've got. Check it out on our website, www.vanguardtactics.com. Thank you so much for watching this uh, Learn to Play Let's Play with Stephen Box from Vanguard Tactics. I've been Wheels, this has been Maddie, and we have been Dicebreaker. If you've liked what we've been doing and you want to see more of it, then head on over to youtube.com forward slash dicebreaker or dicebreaker.com, where we have loads of stuff going out every single week whether it's videos of reviews, let's plays, lists of games we recommend, perhaps us doing a live stream of the newest thing that's come out, or you go over to the website, you're gonna get all of the latest updates from what is happening in the tabletop industry from Warhammer and Infinity and Frostgrave mm -hmm. and all your favorite minis games, all the way over to things like trading card games like Magic, board games like Wingspan, or even role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next one. Make sure to hit subscribe, click a like icon, click the bell icon to get notified whenever we put a new video live. But until then, have a lovely day.